And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast After Hours Edition. We got a bunch of lovely ladies in the house. Hey, girls, to be, hey, exact. To be exact. Yeah. So, uh, Ultra. yeah. Let's get into it, baby. Let's go. All the night. If you want to get off, if you want to leave, you, you could, you're more than welcome. I asked you to stop with the question and you didn't. Do you get want out, me that's to leave? Serious, get out. Put your shoes on outside. You don't got to put them on in here. I know the night is not possible to see. I must believe in something so I'll make myself believe it. It's my turn. And we are live. What's up, guys? Welcome to the Fresh and Fit Podcast, number one men's podcast, and number one podcast in Miami as well. Uh, so, guys, quick announcements. Number one, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Check us out over there, guys. All the behind-the-scenes content you can't get anywhere else is over there to include the Zoom coaching calls that we do. Probably do one this weekend, actually, because we yeah. got to do it for February. We do it every Sunday, once a month, guys, where we teach you guys about real estate, making money, getting girls, dating, getting in shape, whatever it may be when it comes to male self-improvement. We got you guys, patreon.com slash fresh fit. Also, there's a bunch of exclusive episodes on there. That you might not have seen because we're, year. we're kicked off YouTube for a few days. Yeah. Uh, but we back. And uh, we got uh, a manager. Shout out to our guy that uh, got us back on. And we got the strike removed. So all the haters that tried to mass report us. Uh, Stupid. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so check us out over there, guys, on patreon.com slash freshfit. Also, guys, do us a huge favor. Get on our Clips channel. You guys might not have time to watch the full-on podcast for two to three hours. But check out our Clips channel where we post the best parts. Somewhere between two to 20 minutes, etc. Funny parts. If you guys want to see me lose my hair follicles in quick speed, go ahead and check out the clip channel. And uh, someone was clipped too, uh, Bunny, right? On the channel? Yes, I do. <laughs> Y'all was talking about me. It's okay. <laughs> uh, Shout out to her. But she's a fantastic sport. And she was about to beat the fuck out that chick in the fucking uh, last time. Show you okay, hey, man. Literally. The plants. <laughs> the plants. Don't, don't play with her. Plants. Yeah, man. She's about to fuck that chick up. Uh, the is the, the new black. Yeah, right, man. So, yo, so if, if for anything else, support her for the fact that she was going to beat the shit out of a hater for us. So, guys, <laughs> go check her out. What's your Instagram? Drop it for uh, us real Bunny quick. Bunny Rex official. Bam. Bang, bang, it should be bang. Bunny Hands official at this point. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, uh, also, guys, check us out on FreshShipPodcastStore.com where you guys can get all the merch, all the t-shirts that Fresh never wears. Make sure to check us out over there. I just put up the new um, uh, Stay Over There shirts because we definitely got a lot of people we got to tell to stay over there nowadays, especially. So check us out over there, guys. Freshshipodcast.com. I updated some of the shirts. I still need to do the hoodie. I will do the hoodie as well. But other than that, man, I guess uh, let's introduce the lovely ladies. Ladies, give us your name, your age, what you do for a living, current dating status, and then education level currently. And we'll start right here. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, body count. <laughs> Leave me alone. Um, my name is Spree. I'm Princess uh, I'm 26 from Miami, highest educational. I did a little bit of college. Uh, I'm a cosmetologist. I do hair, braids. Dating status? Single. Did you have a Valentine's or no? No. Thank God. <laughs> the world is safe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think the right question you want to ask her is, did you finesse someone on Valentine's Day? Ooh. Right. <laughs> no. Really? Um, yeah. Come on. All right. <laughs> Slacking okay. then, man. Slacking. All right. No, I'm chilling. I'm chilling right now. Behaving. Uh, my name is May May. This is my second time on the podcast. I'm 28 years old. My highest level of education is high school, but I do plan on going back to school eventually. Huh. And um, I'm just like in between jobs and stuff. Like, yeah, that's about it. I really don't have like a profession just yet. Fun just employed. Yet. Huh? Fun employed? <laughs> I'm not unemployed. I well, guess not, you, that's why I said fun employed. Yeah, for right now. Are you trying to find yourself? <laughs> but life is like getting serious for me. And yeah, I am. Okay. I am. She's on a journey. Well, <laughs> you're running out of time, so. What? I said she's running out of time, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I'm not. 28. You got two more years. I'm 28. You're not. So what? Being what is that? No kids. Yeah, I have no okay. kids. Well, none of that, like. We're saying 30 is probably the, the cutoff. Um, oh, don't say be. that. <laughs> okay. And then uh, current education level? 
<laughs> no, go ahead. Continue. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> what she she said she she completed high school. And then, are you single okay. in a relationship? What are you? I'm like almost in a relationship, but not in a relationship just yet. But yeah. I'm only focused on one person right now. Man, I almost slept with that girl, bro. Almost. <laughs> I almost smashed, man. man. But then she told me I just want to be friends. God damn it. Wait, so <laughs> we didn't tell each other that we wouldn't be friends. We eventually. Oh, no. He's just going to yeah, tell yeah, you yeah. I'm not looking for something right now. No, 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 no. It's not wow. that. It's just that, so like. who's waiting on who? Uh, he's waiting on me. <laughs> oh. Oh, shit. Okay. okay. <laughs> Power of the pussy. That wait, wait, wait. So he asked you to be his girl? I mean, he didn't really ask. He showed it. <laughs> he showed it? Yeah. How? Wait, yeah. Okay. He just do? caters to me and make sure I'm okay. And I just feel safe when I'm around him. So you're not going to... If you got it, why don't you want to take it? Because it's right now we're in two different states. That's why. Oh, he's not over here. <laughs> <laughs> you're single, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Oh. All right. Uh, yeah. All right. How about you? Hi, guys. My name is Arlene, and I'm 25 single i have a master's education right now i'm doing mental health um therapy with kids so, are you a phd huh good. no not yet <laughs> i can't prescribe medications but are you yeah. working on it i think maybe in the next year or so cool yeah hold on We're educated somewhat good looking no valentine <laughs> no Shit. damn not y'all niggas all. slacking out here man <laughs> what's wrong with y'all they definitely slacking um and where'd you where'd you get your uh your master's degree from uh boston so I'm where, from Rhode Island. Where, where in Boston? Simmons University. <laughs> that school sucks. <laughs> I went to Northeastern. So okay. Like, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like, Wait, what? You fucking asshole. <laughs> yeah. um, and then where, did you get your master's from there too? No, so I went oh. to P- Providence College in Rhode Island. And okay. then I went out of state to get my master's in it's Boston. A, in Boston. All right, cool. Yeah. And that's for some of you guys that are wondering, you know, Providence is only like 45 minutes from Boston. So. So yeah, uh, all right. So shout out to uh, to Simmons. They suck, but that's a whole other. Story. <laughs> Wait, hold on, I gotta ask you though. Yeah. What did, did this guy get for you for, for Valentine's? What did he get you? Um, well, it's not what he got me. He actually like catered to me for my birthday. So I like flew out to where he was at, which he lives in New York. Mm-hmm. And the whole time I was there, I didn't really have to pay for anything. He just like made sure I was okay. Okay. Oh shit! I'm sorry. Okay. The city <laughs> or where? Where the city or where? Brooklyn. Oh shit! <laughs> New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> okay. Okay. I see. What about you? Is that a Naruto headband? <laughs> God damn. Because it's Hakoge I see in this bitch. You already know a show. Hey. Oh, Naruto? Yeah. <laughs> that shit is hard. You're annoying, bro. <laughs> what type of fucking nerd are you? Yo, I'm about to Dragon Ball Z, bro. Water juice is him. Bro, so, I can't. Anywho. <laughs> Hi. Stab juice <laughs> If she saw Icy, go ahead and follow all my social medias, especially my Twitch. We've been working on that on Streamlabs. I also have a little bit of merch if you want to buy a shirt or something. So, you know, go ahead and do them things. Um... Let's see what I do for work. I'm a stay at home mom who decides to dabble in and out of work. Uh, (laughs) Highest education, the strip club. Y'all can suck my dick. And what else can I say? All I got to say, I just came on the scene and I found out that someone was talking shit about Dragon Ball Z. So I'm here now. And uh, Naruto like trash pe- levels Piccolo better. are over eight. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, Piccolo! Piccolo Byron, go on, dodge! Listen, Get DBZ out of here. Yo, should Anybody I? Should I see that? Should, should I fucking? You talking shit? <laughs> you talking shit, bro? <laughs> should, I should fucking hit her with a with a final flash right now. But I ain't gonna do it. We just started the show. I'll take it easy on you for now. All right, I'm out. Fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Good riddance, man. <laughs> Anywho, sadly, I had no Valentine's. I spun it with my Discord people. Shout out to the chat. That and is so yeah, sad alone. I know. I'm so lonely. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Wait, weren't you dating somebody? Fuck yeah. that nigga and everything he stands oh. for. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God shit. damn. You got a special man. message you want to send to him? If he's watching? Continue fucking your assistant, you stupid bitch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn. Actually, Ow. assistants are fantastic Shut for sex. Up, so I don't know I don't what you're talking hear about. Man. I don't Wait, hear it. No, it you said assistant or sister? Assistant. Oh, Girl. I thought you said sister. That's yeah. why I was like, Damn. I heard it. You okay. heard sister? Yeah, I heard sister. Because I was like, no, 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 no I heard assistant. Yeah, I heard too. sister. Oh, <laughs> assistants are fantastic for fornication. Uh, <laughs> All right, Bunny Rex, what about you? Uh, my name is Bunny Rex. Uh, I am a dancer. I do music, and I did a little bit of TV. Um, I'm 24. 
I finished high school, but I will go back to school like eventually when I have time and don't want to dance on the pole no more. Um, but for right now, that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> okay. Oh, and I'm in a relationship. What'd you oh. get for Valentine's Day? Dum, dum. Nothing yet. Nothing. We, he lives in Illinois. I live in Atlanta now. What's up with y'all what? with these out of state niggas? That's what, it's that's a long story. Where is that? It's a long story. It's so much better. Wait, you live in a, you live in Atlanta? I just moved to Atlanta. Yeah. Oh. Sh- so yeah, so she's she visiting no, no, us she, now. No, she's flew just for the podcast, man. Yeah, to her. yeah. I flew because oh, I actually said, "Come on, come Damn. on, all right, Love. come on." Yo, guys, go show her some support, man, because she was about to beat some bitches' ass that was talking shit to us. <laughs> and uh, anybody that's willing to do that is, is fucking on. down with us. I got a quick, quick question though. So, are Miami niggas no good? I never have been with one. No, so. they aren't. You know, to be They're honest, super no. Super whack. Okay. Toxic. <laughs> no. I right. heard bad things. How about this? We will ask about Miami guys here in a second. Okay. Let's go around, introduce okay. each girl, then we'll go back around and we'll start here. So be ready about Miami guys. So, uh, <laughs> and then I think you're next. Hi, my name is Melissa. I'm 33 years old. Wait, 33? Yes, I'm 33. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> She looks uh, amazing. You look really good. Very good. Black though, black though, you know you look awesome. Um, I'm an active nursing student. Wait, nurse? Nursing student, yes. <laughs> Family tradition. And um, I do like, I pretty much do whatever it takes. I do a bit of modeling, podcasts, promotions, whatever it does. Make a little money on the side. Um, relationship status. Um, I'm openly dating. I could be anybody you want. Holla at me. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, did I have a Valentine? Um, it was last minute. It was last minute, but I went ahead and just go ahead and spin the block to my ex because the current Ooh. person that I was talking to <laughs> was still fucking his baby mama and she's Ooh. causing a whole bunch of drama. We're not doing that this year. Oh, shit. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Right. Mo- spin a block. <laughs> <laughs> Openly dating. Holla at so you, me. you went to the safe zone of your ex. She wanted to get her body count up. That's, yeah. That's reasonable. That's right. Yeah. A lot of girls do that. They go back to the guy that, you know, they right. used to be with so they don't get the body count up. It's better that way. I right. mean, isn't, it, isn't that smarter? Just yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, saying. it is. It is. It's just interesting that we You don't do want that. a new nigga. You know? I mean, hopefully, I'm the ex. Wait, I see. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully. What did I say? You know I'm blind, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he he goes, uh, the okay, I see at okay, least look. fix the headband. It's upside down. <laughs> oh, shit. Stupid. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I had to fix this shit so many times. We just gonna deal with it how it is, okay? Like, we're not going through this. It's gonna be upside down the whole show. It is what it is. <laughs> Damn. Continuing. God, let's not people notice you know. man shout out to the Ben K alright and what about you my name is Sam Viva La Diva on the gram mm. oh shit with the bars yeah with the oh <laughs> shit I didn't even try that one uh, I have a master's degree and did you also go to Simmons oh no I'm sorry I'm like really foreign I went to school in the Netherlands oh. and did my oh. bachelor's Damn, and where that? master's that's in Europe that's in Europe that's in Europe oh, Amsterdam yeah up there uh, somewhere? Actually, Rotterdam. That's like the Miami of the Netherlands. Mm-hmm. I got family there. Yeah. Nice. Okay. I like that. You did look familiar. <laughs> um, <laughs> and now I do a little bit of everything. I do social media marketing. I'm a bartender. I'm a promoter. So. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Like of all trades. Exactly. Jane of all trades. Get her Shout right. out to her. She yeah. brought a friend on the panel. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I did. That's my homie. I love her. Oh, okay. Yeah. No wonder you're matching with the blue. I know. <laughs> that was, was unintentional. We had no idea. We sure. had no idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It That's just happened. Great minds think alike. Exactly. Happened. They definitely planned that. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's coordinated. That's why we had to separate them to make them not look as ridiculous if we let them sit next to each other. Facts. All right. So you said you got a, you got a master's degree. Yeah. And where where'd you and you got that in the Netherlands? Yep. And then where'd you do did you do undergrad here in the States or where'd nope. you go? I did undergrad and master's in the Netherlands. I was living out there for like about 10 years. Okay. Since I was 18. Are, are you American or are you European or what? No, I'm not. I'm actually born and raised in Aruba, if you ever know. Okay. Aruba. The, yeah. Aruba. 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 Uh, if I'm not, uh, Ruben, is it British territory? It's or is it no, it's yes. Dutch territory. Dutch. Oh. So I'm like a, technically a Dutch citizen. Okay. So you're, you're not American? Nope. Not okay. at all. No dual, a, dual citizenship, no nothing. No, no nothing. Dance She's illegally here. Ice! <laughs> She's been here too goddamn long! She working here as well. No, I'm just kidding. So, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm still in the same relationship I was last time I was here, so it's going good. Okay. Hold on. What did he get you for Valentine's Day? Oh, he got me a ring, a car, some flowers, and some chocolates. Okay, and, and box. A and car. Ring. Yeah. Damn. Engagement ring? Wait, a car? No, not an engagement a ring. Car or a card? A card. Oh, a I was car. about to yeah. say, like. <laughs> she said <laughs> car so easily. <laughs> I was about to say. Okay. All right, cool. Cool. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. 
Hi, my name's Kiki. Baby girl Key on Instagram. Currently, I am. I have like my juice business going on. As far as education, I am a licensed esthetician, so I do that on the side as well. Mm-hmm. But follow me on Instagram. Um, sorry, Juice Trap Key. My juice business. Okay. All right, and dating status. There is no dating status. I'm single. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't okay. have time for that. So, no Valentine's? No Valentine's. I literally worked all day yesterday. Then she on a hustle. <laughs> Co- uh, college? Did you go to college at all or no? I did go to college for business. Uh, I'm like a few credits away from my AA, but I don't really feel like I need that. So. And how old are you? I'm 26. Cool. Almost almost there. Four years. All right. All right. <laughs> All the girls like, wait, what's wrong when I'm 30? What's going on here? An explosion. Uh, okay. And then real quick, we're going to spin it back around or spin the block as someone on the panel said earlier. Uh, <laughs> Miami, Miami guys, what, good and bad. Give us one bad, one good, one bad. Bam. Go ahead. You start. Um, The good thing about Miami guys, I feel like they're hustlers. March. If they care about you, they're going to make sure you're good like they're gonna go out and get the money the bad thing is that they're hoes like they what? that's what they are we ain't hoes yeah. 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 fucking call whores. us hoes yeah. shut up Blanca. oh god <laughs> how dare you <laughs> i i respectfully think that there's no st- such thing as a man that's a hoe men are hoe makers we are not necessarily hoes we love women no all day all hoes. night men turn women. men turn the women into hoes but we cannot be hoes that's just my opinion of course uh what about you got anything uh okay, okay so the good and the bad is they make money or they're ambitious Hustle. but but they smash girls okay fair every, enough every girl every girl <laughs> every girl you gotta be specific not every girl i mean you know <laughs> come on man it's like the majority but not every girl i don't feel aff- i ain't Any no miami guy so i don't feel offended yeah, yeah, give it to them, I, them i'm not I am. yeah that's right that's chris yeah, i'm chris. offended they're talking about chris and mo all right niggas. what about you uh, aruba uh i have nothing good to say about miami niggas oh all right next we want to hear the bad. We want to hear the bad. Yeah, give I feel like most of these dudes out here just capping. Like whenever, like I tell my girls, I tell myself, yo, when you meet someone, check the papers. Yes. they be lying. They be lying. Yes. Get the Miami's like the number one capping city in the fucking world. So niggas be clout chasing. Yeah, my boyfriend's from out of state, so I'm good to go. Yeah. Smart, smart. Yeah. Out of state, yep. niggas she did the smart is the thing. Way to go, yeah, man. Is, yeah. What about you? Um, for Miami niggas, um, I would say that they're hustlers. They're used to the nightlife. Like more than likely, if you date somebody down here, they know what restaurants to take you, what yeah. clubs to take you. That's definitely a plus. Bad. Um, I definitely think that they're toxic, and they glorify toxic behavior down here. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> that's a nah. Nah. Uh-uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. So let's hear it. I really never dealt with the Miami guy, but I work at a Miami club. And I guess, like, the good, I guess, like, they have money, kind of, in a way. You have to have money to live here, like, to be honest. Yeah. And I guess the bad thing is that a lot of them are scammers, and that's, like, a lot of, <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, she illegal did. activities that I don't want to be a part of. She took it there. Shout out to Black Scammers. You got to love the scammers, right? Allegedly. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're the ones that throw the most money at the club, man. I know, but, but that's okay, but I don't want to, like, kick it with you because I don't want to be worried about the feds ki- kicking in your door but, and shit, and then I have to go... Girls want the scammer though for the lifestyle. Not me. Mm-mm. I want. No. I used to like that. I, I used scammers. to like guys that were like, like you know, doing stuff against the law and like drugs. I used to like that stuff, but then like when they kept going to jail and I was lonely, I realized I didn't like that shit no more. And I wanted somebody that's like you know, a great sister, more wholesome. Yeah. A civilian. A good boy. Right. A good, a good boy. boy. Don't got to worry about those jail calls because that shit's so fucking annoying. <laughs> shit adds up. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> it's the cloud chaser for me. <laughs> it's Thanks. the fake flexing for me. Oh, I fucking hate y'all niggas for me. Y'all, y'all niggas are, is liars. Y'all pathetic. Y'all don't know. Y'all hey. tender dick as yeah. fuck. Hey, hey, chill, uh, chill, chill. Okay. This is manslaughter. <laughs> Y'all don't even know if y'all want to be bi or <laughs> fuck with women. I think that's all men. <laughs> what? That's she everywhere. No, I'm talking, I'm talking about I'm talking fluid. about guys in Miami. I, yes. I, don't, I don't know about no other state because I'm only she here. She stole it from me. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> niggas don't know what they want. So, you know, uh, what what is what is good of a Miami? So nigga? I see everybody just gender fluid. <laughs> they just like whatever. Whatever. What do you mean? <laughs> like, there's no good. 
no, yeah, there's got to be one plus. Come on, give it to these guys. Uh, I down guess here at 305. these niggas know where where to eat at. <laughs> <laughs> That's, what I was like. That's what I was saying. I'm gonna be real. You can Shots always mold. get a good, you know, like a good plate. Like you, it's always right. a nice spot out here. Like I, I, agree, I agree with that. Psychology mm-hmm. all the way. But that's about that's it that's all you never heard that as a compliment hey you know we know where to go eat bro (laughs) yeah no we love y'all feed us right that's important that's important that's important we deserve it we feed you if you're not fucking with us, why are we going to feed you? No, you should feed us regardless because you oh, should never have a, like a hundred female around you. <laughs> if you and my girl, I'm not going to feed you. If you're what? my man and if I say I'm hungry okay, and you don't feed me, if there's going to be a girl, problem. Different, but there's a not, big problem. Dating is like, nigga, what? I just met you. Nigga, Part right? of dating you is better feed me. I lie, bro. Huh? And y'all and y'all niggas will sit here and no, buy a bitch a plate the first date. Where would you go on a date? Part of dating is feeding us. We can go on a date for some tacos and vibe. So that's what? food. Well, that's, that's food. Up. What? I'm happy. But for I'm me, saying, uh, tacos. Be deserving though. <laughs> I don't want for some tacos. <laughs> tacos <laughs> Yo, okay. Yeah. For- would you? Okay. Would you imagine, right? <laughs> a guy will go on a date with a girl, pay right. for dinner, and she goes home, and he goes home as well, but with, with blue balls. That's not cool. Oh yeah, but wow, no, so you're trying to say fuck food. for some tacos? Right. 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 You, you want me to fuck with with just tacos? eating with a say. bitch? For some tacos? Right. Fantasizing yeah. about fucking right. I mean, maybe for a golden wrong. steak. So right. a golden steak, you might get some pussy. If you get me a golden steak, I might I might right. have to give some you some pussy. Some nursery rats. That's right. I'm not going to give you no pussy over Taco Bell. Can I get some tacos? Yo, that's a shitty stomach. So if you want to hang out and get to know a girl, what you going to do with her on the first date? If it's not you. Go for some for some drinks, maybe like go to a chill some spot. Drinks. You should do something like, athletic. But, That's gonna be my impression. Yeah. She can't no, no, order no, appetizer. But or? I'm saying, <laughs> I go for tacos anyway. If you wanna be a plus one, come through. However, high interest has to be there. You can't just be like, oh, I'm gonna mm-hmm. find out what this nigga. Maybe it was like, okay, you know what? High interest. All right, let's go out. I feel like you're still gonna buy her. That's the food. what I'm Merch. saying though. Right. Like, okay, if I'm if, if let's say we meet on social media, right? Yeah. Hey, mm-hmm. fresh, yes. nice to meet you. Hey, you know, princess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you kind of cute. What's going on? Sorry, like, I'm shit. You want to grab something to eat? You, you don't want to go out to eat? Is what you telling me? I'm saying I'm not taking a random chick that has no interest. I'm saying if this interest is there between mutually. Cool, we'll go out. I but mean, obviously, but there obviously has to be some conversation before leading up to like, like a let's FaceTime go eat. Call like talking before and then we go out. I don't say okay. just take you out randomly. That's understandable. Like today, for example, I yeah. I, I met somebody like a couple of days ago on Instagram, whatever, and we exchanged phone numbers, and then I was like, oh, okay, if you're not doing nothing later, we can grab something to eat. So you invited him out? Yeah. See, I'm inviting you out. <laughs> it don't matter, but if he would have done the same, it would have been cool. Like, you don't think so? For example, yeah. let's where, say... Where, hold on, no, 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 no. Let's have fun with this. Where are you going to take him to eat since you invited him out? It doesn't matter. No, no. Where are you going to take him to eat since you're the one that invited him out? She's not paying for it still. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Wait, you invited a guy Assuming because in... you invited him out, so now he Nigga, might we assume shots over here. He might be, I would have been like, you he know... might be an equal guy. He might say, "Oh, women are empowered and they're equal to us." So yeah. Uh, so what are you gonna la- take me? The, the last time I came on here, I was talking about how I. Took a couple of niggas on dates. Like, okay. yeah, I did, think it's did. okay. Okay, so oh, where are you going to take him to eat, though? On I that mean, first if date? he would have said lunch, we would have gone to Tap 42. If he would have said dinner, I would have been like, I don't know. Where would you take 42? him? Okay. okay. I don't know. I don't know. Tap 42 is fine. I went to the dinner. It is. Notice how it's not a $1,000 mm-hmm. steak. <laughs> <laughs> right. I said, I don't expect that from a guy either. If we're going to go somewhere like that and we don't have a relationship, I'll go half with you. Mm. Okay. okay. That, okay. Straight up. That's you. Uh, I would argue have. that most women would want the guy to pay for the first date every single time, especially, if, especially food. I wouldn't be bothered mm-hmm. if he, you know, was capable and he was willing. But had he not been, I would have gone half. I would have been like, okay. mm-hmm. it was my That's idea. You. We're not in a thing. We're not, uh, like you know, dating. So let's go half. You're yeah. an exception yeah. to the rule. Most Open. women, I would most argue, do that, nine out of ten women are going to be like, what the fuck? You broke ass nigga. I ain't going with that. What you <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm finessing and I'm leaving out through the bathroom. I'm gone. Fuck you in that place. Some guy asked me to hang out and... Um, like when he picked me up, he had like two other guys in the car, like what? his cousins. Oh, right? no, no. And then I noticed train. I, we <laughs> no, <laughs> we went. Plane. We went to um, <laughs> we went to like a house party that they were. Guys, let her finish, please. We, they, we went to like a house party that they were having or whatever because okay. it was one of the guys' birthday, so they were doing like a thing for him. Mm. And I uh, I overheard them having a conversation, and he was like, "Oh, you're gonna give me some money for gas." And that's when I knew immediately, like, he ain't had no money. <laughs> so, like, after we went, we dropped, we left from there and shit, and we pulled up to, like, a food truck, but I know he didn't have no money, so I paid for our food anyways. Damn. 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 You good one. So, so, so nice. It was kind of yeah. a shame. But hold on, hold on. Did you hang out with him again? I kind of employed him. 
Oh. Employed. Employed. He's your owner. Talk about that. He's your. Oh, to do OnlyFans content? No. No. Oh wow. No. Stuff. But he's employed now. Oh, you already know what time it is now, man. Goddamn. <laughs> All right, no, that's some fucking illegal shit probably as usual. Okay. Uh, and then where were we? We were at um. Uh, oh yeah, Miami yes. guys. I don't know. I just got here, so You're I'm here. Yeah, yeah, I moved seen... a month ago, Good. and they're, they're pieces of shit. You know what that don't means, right? <laughs> just got here. She yeah, I'm putting her on. I'm putting. Yeah, I'm putting her on. No, 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 hell no! I'm gonna look out for my girl. <laughs> Excuse me. I think I enjoyed Miami enough though, since I've been here. Yeah, and it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's just the party vibes, and you know, I want to go somewhere different. So, so have you been mm. on? Let's go to the yacht, keys, yet? girl. Let's go to the keys. I have been on a yacht. Uh, I have been on a yacht. It's all right. I love it, bro. Yeah. By the way, every month we're gonna have a yacht party, fresh and fit style. It's gonna be dope. So this weekend, invited. actually, this weekend, actually, this yeah. weekend, this I ain't never been on oh, Wednesday, Monday, Saturday. Wait, I don't Saturday. have friends. No, but fresh, I'm going. So, uh, DM me the first. Okay, I'll have to fly back. <laughs> All right. So, um, okay. So, uh, you, so you said you've been here for a month. So, have you been? You have not been corrupted yet. I mean, by Sam, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Right. You're not gonna put no. me on blast. Like that. No. 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 I'm okay. Angel, I mean, here, fresh. We always make jokes about this. We always say like, when a girl first comes here, guys are like jumping on it to like get her before she gets tainted by Miami. Facts. That hasn't happened. So yeah, I mean, you're not talking to anybody right now. Wrong with me. You're not talking to anybody right now. No, not at all. How you're long you been here? Gorgeous. A month. Welcome. Stop the you like girls? I bet you. Well, <laughs> no, after this so show, your DMs are gonna be so flooded. That's the thing. Like you know, anybody can. Just show up in your DMs and talk to you, but that doesn't mean you're gonna entertain everybody. So you don't entertain anybody on Instagram? Nope. Never? Nope. Even blue check? What? Even blue check. I got a couple blue checks in my inbox. I don't entertain. I'm, I plead the fifth. <laughs> yeah, I <know>. See? <laughs> See? See? Okay, okay, okay. All right, cool. Fair enough. Well, um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, what about you? Uh, in, in the Miami guys, one good and one bad. Um, the good is that they are hustlers. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, they know how to get money, they know how to get it. Um, if they really like you, they go spoil you. Facts. For, for, and they go show you off mm -hmm. and That's all true. of that. They go do and still make what you it look takes. Crazy. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, <laughs> <laughs> they go be trying to hunt your best friend. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> like, at the same friend, time, they sister. go be trying to hunt your best friend. So they are like toxic, but I mean, <laughs> toxic give and take, like, you can find a good one. You really can't. Mm -hmm. Where do you find these guys? Yeah. Right. I I've, haven't found one. I'm, I'm just searching. Okay. Okay. I've seen other people. Like, oh, okay. That was I'm, a pretty just, good I'm still description searching. Of my mean niggas in a nutshell. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. <laughs> okay, that is hilarious. Um. All right, cool. So uh, You're missing oh, princess. Oh, oh, princess. Go ahead. What about you? <clears throat> she a sim. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be real. New York niggas wear the crown for me. Oh, okay. facts. Okay, me they too. The best. Bing bong. They hoes, but they the best. Okay, I don't care. The woo um, babies. <laughs> Miami niggas. Uh, good and bad. Hmm. Good. I agree with most of the girls. They're definitely hustlers. They go give you the wear if that boom boom right. Okay. <laughs> um. The worst I would want to say that they're whack. They don't have. They like originality. They like swag uh Wait, confidence oh shit swag is an old word but yeah <laughs> hey. in there. um they yeah, like, like confidence. Goddamn. they're like 2008 they're they're just weird my niggas are definitely weird mm -hmm. they're picky all right they're what like, is the chat saying because i want to know what to check out yeah, okay. so what we'll does the we'll chat hit some of these say? super chats real fast mm -hmm. um and yo guys we already got almost 5,000 live viewers so guys do me a quick favor like the video like the video we uh, subscribe to the channel all right um early stream. guys we're gonna go to 1 million subs Yes. Help us get there. Yeah, help us get to one minute. And if you're new guys. to the channel, please share the link to this uh, video so people can see it on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Exactly. Get us out there. All right. Jam John God, five bucks, says, Hey ladies, what would be the benefit of marriage in twenty twenty two if the prerequisite for women were out to were to out earn their husband? Glad the show is early to F and F. Okay. Uh, Omar, five bucks. Always nice to see she's so icy. She's my favorite guest. Okay. There you go. Kid ninety four. Oh, she's so yummy is back. Okay. <laughs> I'm fucking crying. <laughs> and then the uh, chef bro. No, 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 he's Chaffro, no. Ah, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Chaffro, you need no. to stop. So get this, right? We're in Discord just talking up me, I see, and these other niggas here. And Chaffro, right? So this nigga says the most Sus gayest <laughs> comments in the world. <laughs> no, no, no. Suspect. Suspect comments. And I want to say Chaffro. Not that there's anything wrong with suspect, but. I appreciate you, homo. <laughs> there you go. Chaffro, you're, you're. Oh, that's the one I, I called you daddy. Oh, you're oh, a thin line. Oh, that's a guy. That's yeah. a guy right, I call I you daddy. Moogie Bowman, yeah, five no, bucks all the way from New Zealand. <laughs> Chris, did he make fun of you, bro? No, he's no, he's fine with me. Okay. Well, you yeah. got deleted the message, so I don't know. Elijah Bryant, two bucks. How dare you? That's very true. But we're not all terrible guys. 
Sovereign okay, Resist Renaissance. When will you guys release DMs on demand again? That's Actually, a good question. I'll be getting some uh, requests for the, uh, the course again All for, right. for Instagram. Maybe maybe next month then. Uh, All right. Ferocity. All right. You know what? The, the chat is saying free Shafro. You can read it. <laughs> Shout right. to Myron slash uh, comma daddy looking hella clean with that shave. <laughs> <laughs> the way you said daddy. Pause. Daddy. Pause. Daddy. Uh, ferocity. Uh, 10 bucks. Yo, what's good? Just got a raise at work. Now I'll be making 170k a year. I nice. want to celebrate by getting some J's. Which ones do you think will look good on Asians? Oh, wow. Bro. Of course. Well, bro, Any? you can make them yourself. Why are you going to buy them? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> hey. Canceled. All right. All right. Up. Fantastic. <laughs> Racist joke of the day complete. Yeah. Let's continue on. Myron Jr. Babysitter. Oh, God. <laughs> hey, you gotta pay that fine, nigga. She goes, tell Shaniqua she's uh, behind two months on her payment. Okay. Oh, God. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Michael Canonis, I wouldn't mind being run over by Icy. Looking good. Hey. I, okay. All right. Uh, Icy, what's your Instagram? Yo, is she so with two O's. I see why why I'm shadow banned as fuck. Free me. Go follow me. No, no, I see you are so shadow banned. I am super shadow banned. Oh, Instagram, so stop shadow playing she's with so me. She's so shadow banned. Get it? Like <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, uh, um, Myra, if you read it first, uh, it's I don't think we should read it. Shout out to Pina, by the way. Okay. Uh, Chris had looked like a Y te we tennis character. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then Pina. Pina, you recorded. You're, what, what? Pina gave us a, a five dollar uh, donation all the way from Great Brand. Thank you so Shout much, out Pina. To Pina. Hey, we are not gonna give any of these guys oxygen, so we're not even gonna mention uh, facts, etc. Bro, we are. Bro, we're the best. We don't need to mention Wimps. anybody else. Uh, five bucks from Ice. Hi, Dad. Can we have a DNA test? I think Fresh is my real dad. Why haven't I ever met my mother? Baby BBC gang. Okay. Oh, wow. uh, the Clown World's MLK. I'm a Scorpio uh, to bunny, two bunny rocks. So besides money, what else do you like to hop on? Mm. Mm. My nigga's dick. All right. Oh. Okay. All right. Here, so. Like the Energizer Bunny all night, baby. All right. All right. Citrus the King. Chris thinking of selling my profile pic of you as an FT, NFT art. What? We will be rich. Just give me the okay. So it's a picture of me with peanut butter on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Namadi the athlete. Uh, I just want to let everyone know, Batman easily beats Goku using his greatest, most powerful armor of all, plot armor. Okay. <laughs> CCA Nick. Do you have any dating advice for someone who works over 60 hours a week? I've only been seeing a few girls I already knew before this job. Hey, man. Th yo, there's 168 yo, hours in a week, You got a friend. source during your lunch breaks, source in your downtime. Yeah. So when you are free... You can go out as, uh, as well, but put work for first, of course, though. Okay. Uh, the Shafro. Shout out to Icy Gang. Realist 304 on the panel. This nigga, bro. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> we smoking on that Kira pack. Head get. Oh, I just realized what. Oh, come <laughs> This nigga, bro. <laughs> All right. Uh, sh <laughs> Christian Warsham, just showing some love. Thank you so much. 20 Thank you, bucks. brother. Uh, Alexander the Great. I just came across your guys, you guys ever since I've been saving and getting my credit up, thinking about buying a house. What y'all think about that? Is it a bad time? Also, shout out to Houston and City Boys. We have, it depends on what market you buy in, my friend. We have a whole episode where we talk about real estate, guys. Go look at our Money Monday section and uh, type in real estate, and you're going to see it right there. We have a, a episode where we talk about how to buy real estate step by step, how to find a house, etc. All there, figuring out cash on cash returns. So, uh, yeah. S-A-A-D, sad. 10 bucks. Hey, Myron, I've been talking to this girl for like a month, and she always asks me to hang out, and I always post her on my social media, but she never does it with me. Is she trying to hide me from someone? Uh, bro, my girl, my friend. She belongs to the streets. We return her back. Um, Seto Kaiba, disrespectfully, Naruto better than DBZ, but can One Piece uh, better than both? Don't at me. Okay, nigga. Yes, that I is mean, I, I ain't gonna lie. One Piece is the fact, I'm not gonna hold you, know? you. One Piece is the GOAT. One Piece is yeah. the best anime One Piece of all is time. Amazing. It is. And it's still going right now. Go watch it. If y'all don't know what One Piece is to the ladies. Gay! All right, wealthy demeanor. <laughs> Gear, second look. Uh, how will real estate look in the metaverse in the near future? I'm a truck driver making oh, a little over 100K a year. What's the best investment in the metaverse or in general? Actually, Check out the episode we just did with uh, Bam Bam Kevo where we talk about the metaverse and NFTs. To be honest, I didn't know shit about them, and I learned yeah. a bunch yesterday. We actually got our NFTs. Check out the sandbox. Actually, yeah, we're, we're now uh, proud owners of uh, Trillionaire Thugs. So, but yeah, yeah we got some NFTs. Yeah. Should we so, sure, sure or no? You can if you want. But yeah, I mean, no, no, it, nigga, show yours. No, you show yours. <laughs> all right, fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, but but as like I say all the time, guys, you want to spread your risk. If I'm gonna be very quick about this, just keep it this way: real estate, cryptocurrency, index and ETFs. Um, basically, one and and then some precious metals. And we did a whole episode with this on Aaron Clary. Don't worry, we're gonna post it. 
You guys need to be diversified, man. You want to be well diversified. You want yeah. to put all your money into just one asset class because when you put all your money into one asset class, you become heavily dependent on it. So if the real estate market crashes, you got cryptocurrency. If the crypto uh, market crashes, you have real, real estate, estate. etc. Yeah. So you want to have stock different ship. types of things. If the stock market crashes, you have real estate. So I'm in, I'm in everything, guys. I got stocks. I got um, index, ETFs, crypto, real estate. As you guys know, real estate is my primary thing, but you want to spread the risk, okay? But so get an NFTs once you have other... Uh, assets already in place. But here's the benefit: you can yeah. buy real estate in the metaverse and not not have to maintain it like a regular property in real life. So that's true. That's but I would say get something more concrete Sorry. now yeah. before that. I mean, you know, obviously invest in the metaverse too, but like have something now. <clears throat> buy a house or something. Shout out yeah. to the meters being in the closet. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's Vic. Two bucks, bro. How this episode just turned into cosplay? I don't know. I just put on the the. the, the I just turned into Vegeta for a second. The chef, bro. I see is five seven, but sound seven five when her manly ass speaks. Oh, wow. Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, you're taller. Are you five seven? I am five seven. Why did it? Why did it feel like you were taller when I was standing next to you before? Heels. No, she uh, I, I wore heels next to you before. Oh, okay. Uh, celebrity panel tonight. Doja Cat, Monica, post-pregnancy, and poor man's Camila Cabello all making guest appearances. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, Not Monica. <laughs> Omar. Hey, Marin. Uh, <clears throat> you should give Bunny Racks a scouter to scan the room for any plants. Uh, I don't think we got any plants tonight. Uh, Precious BBC. Hey, yo, Fresh. We did our fucking thing last night. But now that Valentine's Day is over, we are back to regular scheduled clapping cheeks. And I've got my eye on Shorty and the blue in the back. Make you move, my brother. And that is Fresh's dick. That is Fresh's dick speaking. Uh, so what is your response to Fresh's dick? What the fuck? Slide in my DMs. Oh! 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 Hold on. Okay. What's your answer, though? Hold on. You know that's Fresh. Right? I'm right here, though. Yeah. Oh. Oh, <laughs> Somebody's oh. acting like yeah, he's yeah. dick I'm right like, now. Like, okay, he's so like, you, you see real? how it says? Yeah, she's like, look at fresh. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. You he's see interested. how it says fresh BBC? <laughs> Got it. Big All black right. Clark. That's what it means. Still slide in my DMs. Ooh. Okay, Ooh. you heard that fresh? Slide in, you know? I'm verified though. You gotta go out to eat. Why, why, slide, why should he slide in DMs when he's right here? I'm slide right on here, her right now. You gonna slide? <laughs> King Von? What's up? Slide right now. Stop it! She can't handle me, bro. It's a wrap. She can't handle me. How, How do you mean? know that? You don't even know. You're a certified Miami nigga? Nah, I already know. What do I do for a profession? Listen, Ooh. I'm talking in everything. Ouch. I'm a therapist, right? So for are children. you sure you can do you handle help with speech me? therapy oh. by chance? No, not yet. Oh, damn. Oh, I can't Just mental you. health. So I fuck with people's Ooh. minds. Fresh, what's your Ooh, best pickup like line? That. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> I do too. <laughs> Fresh, what's your best pickup line? He's, he's doing it right now, ladies. Best nice. pickup line? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you after the show. Oh. Oh. I like that. I like it. Okay. Right. Low key, Let's private. Go. All right. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. <laughs> five K viewers. Uh, yeah. Uh, only fans coming soon, guys. Montclair <laughs> Bandit. Oh Lord, Icy. So you back in the streets asking for a friend? Oh shit. <laughs> I'm back in the streets. <laughs> so good. Where'd you find this? All right, I only recently got into Naruto, but I hate him. And Sasuke DBZ is where it's at. Working on my half sleeve with Beerus and Vegeta. Hey, that's what we're talking about, baby. Real nigga time. Stellar Odyssey, all the way from Australia. Yo, Myron. How did you and Icy spend your first Valentine's Day together as a couple? <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> wow. Fresh, can you read that next one? Yeah, so, uh, the Shafro, once again, two bucks says, Ask Icy why she being so selfish. Bag fumbled. Hashtag PC. Is that like a secret language? Nigga, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh, I think he wants me to say uh, on the story that I posted today, it's all because of him because he proofread my shit. So, there's your shout out, nigga. Suck my dick. <laughs> we got no trust. Two bucks says, Big drip. I fell in love with a lit, lit bitch. Hey. 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 <laughs> Shout out to uh, Fabio Porn. <laughs> the Shafro 2 bucks says, I see, go back to that nigga and say sorry. He ain't do nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Troll Village Citizen. We'll be All right. right. I'm tired of this shit. Oh, crap. Byron's in the house. Stop saying he's hooking up with Icy, all right? <laughs> <laughs> he's not. Wait, hooking up with her. <laughs> Wait, burn. Is uh, she your uh, rider? Because she's wearing right? pink too. That's yeah. your rider. She's wearing pink too. Are you single? Are you single? Oh, wow. You single? <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, well, just so you know. But, Marn, I committed several felonies today. <laughs> and I just got us a bunch of money. You want to hang out sometime? She's attracted. <laughs> Already. No? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fuck you, I see we don't need you. Uh, I mean, I mean, uh, Myron never dated you anyway, but that, that's the whole thing. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, how you just fake broke up with me right now? Like, I don't get that. Just, I see we don't need you. Nigga, what? I was never with you. Uh, uh, oh, shit. Um, 
Yeah, so I'll see you on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, but yeah, stop saying that shit, motherfuckers, or else I'll kill you. Allegedly. 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 Am I going on a drill? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah, I'm going on a drill. Yeah, I'm going on a drill. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is a funny comment here. Through. He says, uh, if she watched mm. Euphoria, she for the streets. That's bullshit because I just no, started it today. No, Yo, I literally that. just I started it today. Hold on, hold on. No, what, no, no. What's that show about? I hear it all the okay, time. Okay, so really basically, good. that super, show super is good. like about teenagers who get into drugs, have mental health problems. A lot of people say like it's trash. It's Zendaya really fucking killed it. Like okay. she's so sexy. So so it's trash. No, it's, it's not. Her. No, 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 no. She no, no. It's a really good show. Like they doubled in views in like the second season. You know, it's funny. I'll watch it. But only with a girl next to me. If not, why? Like right here. Then you're not gonna be. This nigga yeah. 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 Emotional support. Yeah. No. There's a really good story. Oh, she's doing a line. I'm just gonna suck her dick while she's doing lines real quick. That is a therapy coping mechanism. Yeah. Tell me more. I think it's realistic. It's just attachment. Yeah. I can't believe you. I can't believe you said that. I'm just saying. Yo, some dude with a pink mask was running down the hallway saying "fuck icy" or some shit. I don't know what the fuck. Niggas said something about Thursday as well. I don't know. Okay, Michael Mitrok, uh, number one podcast in the world. Shout out to Thanks. you, bro. Thank you. No one got the entertainment Ooh. value we got. Nope. Woke Huey, shout out FNF fam. I like the fact that you guys are starting the after hour shows earlier. It gives people time to hit the morning shift strong. Good business move. Thank you. There you go. Mm -hmm. uh, M-A-L, all the way from Australia. Shout out to the security guard that always locks the back gate every night, which forces Chris to revert to his hood ninja tendencies to jump it. Twitch gang. Hey, okay. Here. Twitch gang. Oh, you, you be jumping fences on, on air? <laughs> on Twitch? On you Twitch? Get, get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then no trust. Had to get a cheap super chat off for $2 earlier, but you know my body. FNF last week was treacherous. Keep checking the channel for uh, after hours thumbnail to no avail. We still lit, though. Don't worry, bro. And then uh, let's see here. And then and then from this point forward, what are you gonna do, Chris? Twenty. Uh, Twenty and up. Hold All on, right, guys. hold on. Chef, I gotta uh, read this one too. Uh, I see. Why are you wearing that that headband? Hiding something? <laughs> oh shit, she <laughs> is. <laughs> what the fuck you got going on on your forehead? Uh, it's called baby hairs, and they were throwing up gang signs, and the Discord <laughs> saw it earlier, so that's why they took a shit. Oh, that bro's a killer, bro. Is the wig lifting? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no but I was that. like, it was like so, like how can you say this? The um, she was like, all right, come pull up with the baby. I said, all right, bet. I didn't have nothing, no gel, no nothing. So I just seen the head bad just staring at me. I was like, all right, I'm taking you. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so. Yeah, hiding the baby gang, baby hair gang. All right, All right. fresh smoked every op pack today on Smash, real I one. I did. Okay. I bodied every person that challenged me in Smash Brothers on Discord. I'm going to say this once again. I am, Sorry. without a doubt, the best Smash player here in the chat. Talk about Mario? Yeah. Oh, you're, yeah. you're yeah. false. One of the best friends. Mm, okay. Wait, Wait, jump on you Discord. You want to challenge me? Like <laughs> jump on Mario Discord. or Mario Kart? Okay. You, you, you play Co Smash Bros as well? I mean, I've played it before. I'm pretty decent oh. at it. Bunny, she, I'm funny. good at games. You know what? Let's she smash. Trash. I want to smash. Yeah, let's smash. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I meant the game. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chris. That's his pickup line right there. There you go. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh. Uh, uh, <laughs> Chris? <laughs> so, Chris, uh, one more time. Yep. He's funny All right. shit. All right, just so you know, I'll be counting the amount of times these girls say those three words and we'll update you on the next podcast. Been doing that every show. Okay, All Joshua right. Deef. 10 bucks, Shannon Walters. Women of today ha love to adapt the, adopt the plights of women of yesterday had with their men to justify how they view and show a disregard for the concerns of today's men. That's Then wonder why we don't end up it. Okay? We don't open uh, it. Did we read it we open Oh, we didn't read that. No trust. Had to get a cheap... No, read that one off. Yeah, cool. That's and then, uh, girls, would you... How many words do we got, Chris? Uh, we got... Yep. Okay. Uh, 10 and up. All right. Yep. No, no, we're going 20 and up. 20 and up from this point forward. I'm going to read these because these guys came in. These came in. So thank you guys so much for the support. So just so y'all know, from this point forward, Chris is going to put every chat on the air, but we're only going to read 20 and up so that we can keep the show going. And uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I'm going to speed through these. Mercan117, $1. Thank you so much. Namandi the athlete. Gross. Would you rather date NFL or NBA players? Hmm. Ooh, you know what? That's real a good quick, question. Real quick. NBA. Run around the table. <laughs> NFL or NBA? NBA. Okay. Wait, why NBA? Tell us why. Real fast. Go shoot that um, they don't have as much brain damage. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> They're not scared to spend any money, and chances are they don't take as much steroids, so their dick's not so little. Ooh. Ooh. You had a story with a small dick in NFL player. From experience. <laughs> Talking. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Keep it so around. NBA. All right. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would choose NBA too. Most definitely. Why? Why? Um, it's just 
like kind of like what she said like you of see course. a lot with like the nfl players like mm -hmm. hitting people while drunk yeah. on drugs shit like that like it's not something I, mean, I want to punch people too. <laughs> Punching, but hitting someone someone while you're drunk is completely different. He could be, be a what the, pretty good guy. I just have it. Me I'm personally, I'm just saying, like he can be a pretty good guy, but me personally, I just like would rather date an NBA player. Okay, all right. What about you? Both. Uh, Both. You can't make me pick either or. Like no, it got to be one or the other. Yeah, if you had that, if you had, if, if everything was optimal, <laughs> she said you yeah. can't make me which pick. one would you prefer? <laughs> Your last dying wish. Like. <laughs> Miami will teach her. I don't know. <laughs> what do we have in Miami? Miami Heat? So What about no, a podcast? No, NBA, I guess that. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Shit. No, that's, that's, that's not why I miss it. And the Marlins. <laughs> dolphins too. Yeah, Dolphins, but yeah. NBA, I guess. I like my men tall and I don't know, something about being with a basketball player. Mm -hmm. She belongs to the screen. <laughs> 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 All right. Uh, what about you, see NFL or NBA? I don't like NFL niggas. I don't. I've had my. I had two experiences. I don't like it. So okay. NBA. NBA. Honestly. Cool. All right. Money. Um. Mm, I guess. I would say NFL. They make more money, but they do have those brain damages and stuff like that. They be, you, they be <laughs> killing. They be killing. They be killing. You've heard of them killing their wife and stuff like that because of the concussions and stuff like that. You don't get that in basketball like that. You can, but not as bad as NFL. So I would say NBA because I don't want to be killed. Like, <laughs> and I wear my mouth too much, so I know how. Yeah, trust Says me. the person that was going to kill someone a couple weeks ago. Okay, exactly. fantastic. <laughs> Just imagine that's an NFL player. Back. All right, okay. Go uh, line back you? your ass. Well, right. <laughs> definitely NBA. I like my men tall. And um, I'm going to sign them non disclosure. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> oh, she knows again. Oh, wow. how, how tall are you? How tall uh, are you? Yeah, I'm only 5'2, so I can't date the NFL. I seen who was it that slanged their baby mother across the room? She set yeah. it up the whole oh, yeah. like yeah. the baby. Yeah. NFL guy. I, I'm he tiny. I'm this petite. Okay. You throw me, that's it. You're never going to hear from me again. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so you're 5'2. How tall are you, by the way? 5'2. Uh, Wow, that's short. Yeah. Short women five, taking up all the five. tall guys. Yeah, I, yeah, yo, I tell I you guys, we brought men. some tall women on the pod. They literally hate you guys. Like that, these tall Damn. bitches always taking these tall niggas, but the fucking stupid. I short, love short, having short, tall short. guys. Wait, short. oh yeah, short. Yeah, sh these short bitches taking on the tall niggas. Sorry, that's what they would say. So yeah. definitely NBA, they the real ballers. I thought the therapist should like the NFL. You know, to like help them grow. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's not that's the no, 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 no. both of them. No, mental health. Mental health. All right, and then what about you? Definitely NBA. I don't have time to deal with like a brain dead dude. <laughs> no time for okay. brain damage. Okay. And they're taller. I'm pretty tall, so that works for me. And how tall are you? Five nine. Okay. Yeah, she's pretty, you know, she's pretty tall. Yeah. What about you? Um, NBA for sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna have some fun with this. <laughs> have you ever smashed the NBA or NFL player? Yes or no? Oh. No. Yes. Okay. NFL or NBA? M NFL. NFL. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'm innocent. I haven't done any of them. Stop the cap. No. Wait, how long have you been in Miami? Uh, since the last time I moved here, like a little over a year. Yo, I don't, I don't like what's hand happening on the right Bible. now. Hand on the no, Bible. Hand on the Bible. Nah, <laughs> hand on the Bible. <laughs> Hell no. Matter I of fact, get the lie detector test. Time. Uh, yeah, yeah, you know what? Lie detector. Perfect that you would say that. <laughs> <laughs> Can we bring out the lie detector? Hey, no. Okay. Uh, no. More time. Yeah, let's bring no. out that goddamn lie detector that we got. These niggas got no, lie detectors. No, no, but I will say this though. <laughs> If you had to pick any sport to get girls and be a player, there you basketball. go, guys. Yes. Right. Right. That's why I'm Free putting game. my baby in basketball. He gonna get all the holes. All right, so, <laughs> so we will come back, revisit that. Um, and I got a hat on because. Well, and you, you said <clears throat> you've been here for one year and you've never smashed anyone from the NBA or NFL. Nah, I'm not messy. I know these streets be talking, so I'm not messy. Yamar, you want all the ones? No, 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 uh, no, just no. one for now. For this okay. test. Right, what, what about you? I haven't either, but an NBA player, I wish. I thought you said a non disclosure. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, know, I know about it. <laughs> you can't say either way. Huh? You got me, you got me. <laughs> oh, so you did? No, I wish. How you know about the NBA is then? Um, I mean, I be, I'm, I be knowing what's going oh, on. Like, I know what's going outside, on in the street. Huh? I be outside. I ain't even gonna okay. lie. <laughs> okay. Y'all not gonna believe me, but no, I haven't. Because the whole time I've been in Miami, I've been in a relationship. I can oh. tell with you, you're a one guy girl. You get addicted to like that person. Yeah, I'm obsessed with you. Move. She and was just saying which, that. Which is scary Wait, what's your why, why is your that horse scary? scary? No, I'm being serious because I like to have my own dick. Because it like Scorpio. Yeah. Oh, Wait, Scorpio. Scorpio. Right here. Oh, I like my own pattern. 
no, so they're pretty. right. Scorpios are in the building. Oh, yeah, we ain't kidding around. We are very... Uh, Christine's going to set you up while we continue on. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the lie So you're detector. saying no. So, no, I have never. Never. Yo, never. I hope I don't fuck I kind of believe you, but I'm like... Mm. No, I swear, I'll do the lie detector test, but the last time I did this, it said I was lying and my, I said my name and that's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Girl, I'm not lying about my name. <laughs> we going to find out. we going to find out. Yeah, we got to do a base you're test. You're probably like, nervous. Like, Good. No, I'm not. Damn. Okay. They right. really took out the light. All right. So, <laughs> all right. Going back. Um. So, uh, Christina, come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. So you're gonna uh just um I'm gonna ask the question, and then you're gonna hit the button. <laughs> Do so I have to like, click anything or okay. something like that? Okay. And shout out to Christina helping out as well in the background. Um. Uh, okay. So. Wait, I need a like. Okay, wait here. All right, you ready? Okay. So do I ask the question first, or do we hit no, the button no, no. first? No, no. Press the button and then ask the question. Okay. All right. You good? Actual name first. Is this real? Oh, have you ever had sex with an NBA or NFL player? Hell no. What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> 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 like, I'm like, I really did lie. But it gave me a little Well, package. actually, hold on, hold on. So it's saying that you're probably, because it gave, what, three three greens and two reds? So it's saying, it, so it sounds that you're probably telling the truth. Okay. Oh. There's, but there is an element of deception in there as well, oh. as you can see. I'm just a really so good liar, famous. but I'm not lying. You're really good liar. Which, yeah, which part are you lying? The hell? Oh, don't worry, we're going to catch the rest of y'all lying tonight, out. too. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> we got something planned for you guys later. What are you lying about? The hell or the no? <laughs> so she fucked a baseball player. That's what it is. A swimmer. What about you? Mommy Marlins. Florida Marlins. I've only experienced them as tricks, but not smashing. Mm. So, so you got money, but never smashed? At the club, yeah. Teach me your ways. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I was a stripper. Mm. And I knew how to dance on the pole. And, like, you know, niggas would have me in their section. And, like, it was my section, oh, well. you know, type so shit. everybody else to, like, the before. yachts or, like, the club yeah, after? I was in a relationship for the first five years of me dancing, so. Can I ask a question? So do you so think... you're a saying you never... <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you never even sucked a dick? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, but I've been around them and I threw a bottle at one before. Oh. At a dick? Oh, <laughs> no, not, oh, not at a penis. Oh, at an wow. NFL player that oh, okay. me and him knew Wait, each you, other. Were, were you there? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. She wasn't there in that part oh, of my life. Bad. That was the beginning. I was 19 years old when I did that. I, my manager was so mad at me. I'm sorry, Miguel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shout out to Miguel. Your spirit. What right. about you? Ask me in a couple of months. I'm oh, oh, damn. Oh, Miami girl, do you, baby? Okay. <laughs> She's planning on it. So you've never hooked up with anyone from the Patriots? No. <laughs> Unfortunately. Or the Boston Celtics? Nope. Man. I wish. <laughs> but... You what? You wish? I wish. All right, we got to get set up this lie detector. I think she's <laughs> <laughs> I feel like she's telling the truth since she said that she wishes. Right? Exactly. Yeah. What about podcaster? No. Oh, wow. <laughs> You're not yet. Uh, podcaster for not me. yet. <laughs> We gotta change that. She said, "Not yet." <laughs> we gotta change not yet. ASAP. All right. Okay. What about you? Uh, not when they were in the lead. It was like <laughs> before, like they were in the either college. before or retired <laughs> or oh, JUCO. Right. They didn't like. They weren't in the NFL yet. It was like college, not it was the like pre the NFL. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be like that. It'd be like college that. football is kind of there, you know. know? Yeah, yeah, especially if you're from UM. <laughs> Listen, you got hoes and money. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and then what about you? Um. I have both. Okay. Wow. All right. Okay. Thank you for being honest for once. God damn it. Hey, you know what? I'm honest. There you go. I was I'm fucking, fucking honest. I was like, fucking what's honest. going on here? Yes. Shout out to you. All right. All right. Uh, and then we got um, Fresh Trash or Smash Slade. Two bucks from Killer Lies. Scoot. Complete lies. And then we got um, Real Captain Mike. Question for the lady. Since so many of your boyfriends are out of town, do you prefer long distance relationships or close distance relationships? Why or why not? Oh, shit. We'll, All right. We'll come back. That's a good question. All right. I see, a.k.a. Ask Ketchum, you done being a day walker or are you coming back to being a night rider? Asking for a friend, allegedly oh, wow. big mo voice. Oh. Nah, I, 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 I'm, I'm going to be a day walker. I, I chose to go to the other side. I have made that. Okay. So no more black guys for you? No. All right. Wait, it's a just, preference. I'm Wait, not going to lie. Wait, BBC Gang, we're taking an L right now. But it's all good, bro. We're still in the game. Yeah, no. Uh, she is no longer a night rider. Nope. Cool. Can't wait for Twitter to hear this one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are racist. Uh, huge FNF fan. Guys, you did great having Gigi on the show. Next level Austri Austrian economist, economist is Pete, uh, Peter Spiff. 
Okay, yeah, go George Gammon. Yeah, shout out to him. Please have him on the show. He's next level. All right. Against FNF Lessons, I must say this. Icy is like forbidden fruit. So many red flags, but damn, she's cute. If anybody <laughs> needs me, I'll be taking several seats under an ice cold shower to repent. Yes, my friend. <laughs> you need to you need to go to the um <laughs> the hell of simping. All right, Byron, you need the the gift. Please flip off the camera stone cold style for the Discord gang. Great value, Koi lay ass last night, talked right over my fucking chat, okay? <laughs> <laughs> a 1,000 stake for a maybe, LMAO, what the fuck? That's you what I'm saying. Listen, dead. she got to be deserving of it, man. Right, oh, that's what I'm Martin. saying. You can't expect me to take me to Olive Garden and Texas Roadhouse and think I'm going to fuck you just because you no. took me. Texas Roadhouse is fantastic. Listen. It is fantastic. I love the rolls. I, I love the rolls. Texas but, rolls are really listen, good. Listen, I'm not saying the first night. I'm just saying that it just has to be there for me to want to take you out. Right, but I'm saying. I respect that connection. Both ways. Yeah, fresh offended, this. like damn, but you you ain't gonna smash me if I take you to steak. <laughs> 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 I gotta buy you this thousand dollar steak. The <laughs> niggas <laughs> salt bay sprinkle salt on your shit. <laughs> <laughs> you better <laughs> better let me sprinkle some semen on you, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Not semen. Uh, right, yeah, what's up? The, the gift though. Are what you gift? Do it? Uh, I will do it maybe at the end if it, if it makes sense. Okay. Um, okay. Eight bucks because remember, bro, it's uh, it's Stone Cold. Watching Love is Blind on Netflix and realize all the 304s and the ones messing up all the relationships are not the dudes. Can y'all do a breakdown? Okay. Mm. Uh, we're going to actually do a breakdown of the Twinder, Tinder Swindler tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah. Two bucks to Shafro. Fresh so dark is Lambo self drive. Can't detect him. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <Nigga>, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you on my dick, bro. Yo, I love it when you guys roast him. All right. Much love from the ZZM. Shout out to Fresh Fit, the dark skinned chick. Melissa is a divine Nubian, but let's hope the looks don't deceive me. Uh, what's your IG? My IG is M E L Z underscore De Blanco. D E B L A N C O. Add me right now. And guys, she's uh, fantastic. Fantastic. single and ready to mingle. Yeah. All right. so, open. Uh, open. She said open. To all my niggas out there that are not from the UK, send a dick pic. Because in, uh, in the UK, it's a crime. So, you know, you guys want to go to, go to jail. Oh, so you, it's <laughs> right, but the looks matches the inside and everything. I'm the full package. Hey, she's oh, selling shit. a full package, bro. Oh, damn. Okay, she's on the market market. Don't play with her, man. All right, Alex. Hey, Icy always drops the cup. What's, <laughs> what's that on your forehead for me to hold? <laughs> okay. Um, and then a little too late, but this but episode of Fresh Affair has been brought to you by Cap and Crunch, reminding the ladies to stop the cap. All right, thank you so much, mm -hmm. sir. And then uh, last one, Fresh is BBC, $20. I don't know what kind of mommy man yelling, Miami no. man, <laughs> sorry. I don't know what kind of Miami man y'all dealing with, but we can end this live stream and I can show how good of a man I really am. Let show me show us. you a real ninja works out here. Blue shirt, you still coming home with me, though, 100%. And that <laughs> is the freshest. Fucked up by ninja. That show is the freshest genius. <laughs> I like Fucked that. Fucked up by ninja. Okay. Put your money where your mouth is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> show hey, us. Uh, two different minds. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. <laughs> All right. So, uh, first question or cool. Something? First question. Twenty please. bucks from here, guys. Yep. Forward. So, tell us in your opinion or your I want to say expertise. How do you know? I'm sorry. Or how does a guy know when they're gonna flake? Like, for example, like, what do you do to flake on a guy? Do you tell him straight up, I can't come anymore? You say something that came up. How do you flake on a guy that wants to take you on mm -hmm. a date? And we'll start right here. Um, honestly. <laughs> Tell the truth. I just don't answer. You're one of those. Okay, okay. I don't know. But why do you flick though? Is it because you're not into him? Is he not like your um, type? I feel like sometimes I'm like socially awkward. Even though it's, I can you hold a say. conversation. I can hold a conversation, but sometimes it's like I don't want to go the extra mile to have to think and you know all that extra shit if i'm not comfortable around you already it's like really hard for me to like get out and go i really have to be going through some shit to, for me to be like all right fuck mm -hmm. it i'm gonna just go mm -hmm. honestly so it might not be, be him it might just be you <clears throat> basically it's mm -hmm. definitely me it's wow. him. perfect excuse all right <laughs> what about you too, it's me in the past because obviously you're, you're with somebody uh you know. <laughs> when but... you're out there in the netherlands how'd you flake on on niggas out there <laughs> I don't answer the phone oh, fair enough. easily, and it's not even about. I'm a I'm a introvert. I don't. I'm very socially <laughs> awkward the first time. Why? Why? Why you gotta play me like that? Uh -oh. Well, I mean that that is kind of a red flag. I guess <laughs> <laughs> if you say so. But yeah, like I don't like meeting people. I'm not good in like uh, first. My finger Whatever, slipped. Myron. I'm going to be quiet slipped. right now. We're going to move on to the next uh, panel. It wasn't me. <laughs> yes, it, was. it wasn't me. All right, but yeah, no, okay, so so, so you just won't answer. Yeah, for the most part. Like, you got to make a really big impression for me to, like, actually show up. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
Okay. Like, otherwise, I'm like, whatever. So, so question. Uh, when you say impression, do you mean, like, he has to, like, charm you at least on some level before? No, not, like, charm me, like, impress me with, like, fancy shit or whatever. But, like, just spark the extrovert in me because I do have that. Can you tell meeting someone for the first time, like, for example, okay, you know what? I want to see him versus I don't want to see him. Just about how he acts and how he moves. Um, you got to make me comfortable. Like, mm. and like, it doesn't matter what setting, but I'm very guarded. So like, when I meet you, make me comfortable to like, get to know you more. Cause I don't like to get to know people. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Right. Let her guard down a little bit. Mm -hmm. right. You need some game for that. Yeah. <laughs> so the question is, what is the, how we flake on guys? Yeah, how I would like, I mean, it's a mixture. It all depends. I feel like mo <laughs> so most of the time, like if I'm in a good mood or say if I'm out with people, I don't want to like embarrass you or anything like that. Or just like, you know, like spur of the moment, I might say, oh, yeah, we're going to link up and then like never link. If um most of the times I like to come up with the family members in emergency. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell, us, tell us one line. <laughs> right. Oh, um. My my aunt is in the hospital, so unfortunately I can't That's make common. it tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Don't wait. say that. Enough. So I had three girls this, this week tell me. Oh, my, my parents in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. I can't make them to the podcast tonight. So that's an excuse then. Yeah, yeah. sounds yeah. like flaking. Yeah. That, yeah. That, oh, okay. that, that's my tagline. Yeah. Um, the other well. way, um, then I'll just go ghost. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I would flake, like I said, spur of the moment, or if I just know that, like, they're just no good. And I'm like, why did I make this decision? So, mm. Mm. okay. All right. Okay. So the girls. I'm a stripper, so I flake on people like you know all the time. But <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a story. I'm gonna tell you a story about the time, the last time that I really flaked on this guy. Mm. Everything was cool. He was he was cool. You feel me? We slept together, and as in like we smashed? fucked. Okay. Yeah. Okay. He. I'm sorry, my smashed man's watching bros. this, <laughs> so d don't be upset because this is way before you. But Keep listen. So he. <laughs> He was on top, right? <laughs> and he oh, grabbed Lord. my hand and put my hand on his ass. And oh. for some reason, <laughs> it threw me the fuck off to the point. And then the way he moaned was like, <laughs> like <laughs> yeah, threw, threw, me, threw me off too, and like, I wasn't even like, there. Listen, it gets worse. It gets worse. It gets worse. So after that, I was like, okay. You know, like that's kind of fishy to me. Then we was around my friends, Big and he fish. said that he don't eat ass, but he will let a girl eat his ass. So when he said that, I was like, "This man is what? suspect as fuck," because that doesn't make sense. How you? That's, that's so a red selfish. Flag. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So then he ended up actually having a tumor, and he went to the hospital. And mm -hmm. this is bad. I'm sorry. But he went to the hospital, and he was in the hospital for a few days. And I took those few days to just not talk to him, and because I just. She got that. the hands. That's weird. Though. The I, opportunity I, I awaits you. And you said it in front of my friends, so my friends are looking at me like, "Bitch, what?" Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh yeah, you gotta go because if you don't eat ass and you expect me to eat, I don't eat men's ass." First of all, I would have put it. It doesn't feel like, like hey yo. <laughs> are, you like, are you trying to embarrass me? <laughs> you trying to embarrass me? My friends, my friends. You feel me? So I just I couldn't do it. I had to leave him alone. And he tries to still hit me up. He's like, "Hi, oh, I see you're doing good." And then I'm like, "No, get away from me." No <laughs> thanks. Crazy. Like that's yeah no. Hey, well, anything with a butt, man, you gotta be careful. <laughs> right? Bro. Yeah, you know, I'll play that. So, uh, what? Well, just, just out of curiosity here. <laughs> so, I have so many questions. Girl. So, so he told you, he told you, oh, uh, grab my ass, or did you want no, to no, put no. anything in it? He Place was on, hands listen, listen, listen. He was on top, and I'm so glad I never fucked this man raw because I just, it's gross. I don't know what it is. I, it's just gross. I, I it makes me sick. Okay, yeah. so he grabbed my hand and put my hand <laughs> on his ass. ass. So I'm like, do the moan. This is <laughs> 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 so I'm like, what the fuck? Most men don't got booty, so you probably just touch it. He had no ass. <laughs> right. It was all bone. It, it, like, it, 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 it like think, my uh, pussy and the fuck I think up. it was more like uh... <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it's more feminine. More feminine. <laughs> more feminine. I, I that got a shit question. was God. weird as fuck. I got a question. What? Did he push it like real close to the crack? It was. It was. It was. It was, was there. It, like, on the outside? it was on the outside, but still, oh, like, why would you yeah. want somebody grabbing your he, butt? He wanted right? it closer. Okay, quick question. Did you ever like touch that area with some men? Like, you may just like 
I put them in closer. I have, but okay. not. I've that's got, different. Okay. Okay. Right. That's it different. Is. Because she was willing to do it. Right. Right. You right. exactly. grabbed my yeah. hand. It that's was like, like you like your touch, hand touched touch my ass. <laughs> he <laughs> said surprise. Like, okay, I'm not different. like like I don't <laughs> think you did it like that. You say your hand. You say he grabbed your hand. I'll grab a nigga's hand and make him choke me. But yeah, he did that. Like you know how you grab a man's hand and put it on neck. He grabbed my hand, put on his ass. That's way less. Yeah. I don't know. Right. I was like. That oh, is right. I can say that too. And uh, I think this is the part where we got to kill the Twitch stream. So, uh, <laughs> hey, Twitch. hey guys, Twitch people, come on over to YouTube, YouTube. because uh, we gonna get canceled on Twitch. <laughs> so, uh, and also Twitter, come over to YouTube, guys. We're gonna kill all the other streams. We're gonna be on YouTube only. So check us out, Fresh and Fit. Peace. All right. All right. So, um, all right. I see. What about you? How do you flake on niggas? <laughs> what do you do? Tell us. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, nah, real G shit though. Like, uh, since I'm a single mother, I like for a nigga to date me. So if I can't see you, I can't see you, and it is what it is. <laughs> and um, if I fall asleep on like something important, cause I I, I be falling asleep at random ass moments. <laughs> Listen, I don't know why I'm like this. People, you don't respect my time. I'm sorry. It's not even you. It's me. I'm tired. <laughs> I see you anemic. Ass, bitch. I'm anemic. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am. I get cold really bad and I get, it doesn't matter about my health right now. Right. But um, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I fall asleep. So it's not, it's not them. It's really me. I'm a tired ass bitch. Like, why you want to fuck with me? I'm tired. Right. Not to get your business. <laughs> yeah. but to use your kid as an excuse to back out of stuff too. Oh, little Jimmy has some some issues in the bathroom. I can't, I can't, I can't leave. Like, I do. No, because like, I mean, at work, yes. Stop the cap. I went like, well, I'm dancing and like a guy is like, oh, I want to be with you tonight. And I'm like, oh, I got to go be with my son. Oh, I'll pay you. Well, uh, <laughs> no. Oh, shit. Right. I'll like, pay the babysitter so you can stay with me. Uh, nigga, it doesn't work like that. The bitch got to go to work. Like, people got nine to fives out here. So, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Like, I, it's not much of an excuse. I, I just, uh, I All sleep. Right. Right. I just say I'm busy. I'm at work. I'm always at work. <laughs> All right. I'm dealing with some crazy people. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm giving I them some therapy. I always blame it on work. <laughs> <laughs> always. To the point. Okay. Fair enough. Um, I would have to say, like, if you don't have like, I, I just wouldn't entertain it at all. Like, if you don't have, if you don't establish like a good personality in the beginning, I'm not gonna waste your time. Nor do I want mine to be wasted. So mm. I'll just leave it at that. But it has happened where I gave men my number and they want to take me out. And like everybody else say, I don't respond. Mm -hmm. I just don't mm -hmm. respond. Okay. I'm going to hit you with the, I fell asleep putting the baby down. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. I'm real hey. tired. My huh? baby's That busy. old excuse right there. Okay, so real quick. It's true. It's true. Bro. I actually fall asleep putting him do? down every time. Yeah. Every night. Like, if I got something to do, I, I got to put in a lot. It's like a magic trick, time. bro. I swear, it's like, <laughs> bloop. Sometimes, off. <laughs> sometimes so, so I catch you be honest then. You be honest. Yeah, I keep her G. Okay. If, if I don't want to go, I'm going to just say, hey, let's do it another day. But most of the time, it's because I fell asleep. Okay, so real quick, back, back around this way. Has a guy ever flexed on you? And how? Mm. Yes or no? Damn. That's it. That should tell you guys everything you need to see right there. I don't remember. Actually, okay, so. the okay. most recent, I don't remember. What about you? Has a guy ever flexed on you? Uh-uh. I never had a guy be like, uh, we put a go out somewhere and then don't respond to me. No. Okay. Absolutely. What happened? Nothing. He said we were going out to dinner and that never happened. Or sometimes I'll text him and just goes ghost. These are two different guys, but. <laughs> There's no way. Yeah. I don't know what I did. So if you know what I did, let me know. What was the question? He had a wife. Partly yeah. did. Because no smart did. single man would leave you hanging. I wouldn't. Right. I <laughs> like I said, no. maybe I have to no. trust you guys. It's the Miami men here. They're all over the place. Run. <clears throat> so a Miami dude flaked on you. Yeah, two, oh, two Miami gay. guys. He gay. Like, he just didn't show up on a date or like... He canceled for dinner and then the other one, we had something going on. Like, we were just kind of vibing and... Do I know who this is? Okay. <laughs> he got a girl. And... He lived with his wife, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You described I mean... a married nigga. <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> Miami nigga. <laughs> Miami Thank nigga. you for the translation. <laughs> um, no, so, uh, so did y'all... Okay, so the first guy, you guys had a dinner... Where are you guys supposed to go eat? I forgot. Was it expensive? Um, I don't know. I didn't look Probably into was. that. <laughs> uh, and, then, and then had you guys smashed yet? No. You didn't? No. 
Not at all. How, how many dates have you guys been on prior? That was the first date, to be honest. Damn. Yeah. Mm. Mm. All right, he probably got I had seen him around, and then he asked me, hey, do you want to do dinner? And was he like an athlete or some shit, or a rich dude? No. All right, he, he might have had another chick that was DTF. Okay. Probably and not. then were you playing hard to get with him? To be honest, I always on. play hard to get with everybody. Okay, I know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, like respond purposely responding to text late. Oh and, no, uh, no, not like that. It's just like I'm not gonna sit here and do the most when you're not doing the most either. You know, I you give see you the same energy. All right, and then the other guy, the guy that you vibe with, aka translation, mm. y'all had sex, correct? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> okay, so y'all smashed, and then and then he didn't hang out after. He was like that even before that. He's a busy man, and I'm a busy woman. So. I love how women rationalize the L. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> He's a busy man, and I'm a busy woman. God damn it. <laughs> All right. Um, and then, have you guys talked since or not? No. no. But right. I Pussy see him trash. around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the worst. When you see somebody, and you see them in a club, it's like, bro. Well, actually, you know what? It, I it, hate that. No, like, that's we've talked. But it's not like there's anything coming from it. Like, I know who he is and I know who I am. It, it, like, we live two different lives. No, but imagine, right? He's a player? He's not an athlete, but he's... No, in, I mean players that, like... like, he, he be, like yeah. Oh! You think so? Absolutely. He has money? No, I don't think so. Can we Sam, can, do you on. know about it, this? Yeah, I know. I know exactly what we're talking on, about. Like, is he a here. promoter? No. No, he's not. Look at y'all trying to rise. Let's just, I plead the fifth on alone? what he does, but <laughs> see, he's he's out I, there. I, 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 I see where this is going. Yeah, I see where it's going. He sells cocaine right. and booby trap. No, he doesn't. <laughs> 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 not a booby trap. Uh, God damn. That's <laughs> funny. Shout, right. Shout out to booby trap. Shout out to booby trap. What about you? I'm sorry. What was Has the question? Has a guy ever on you? <laughs> yes or no? I'm, hold on. I really have to think about this. You stupid. Hold on, no. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh, Probably yeah. not then. Nah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so people I talk to, we always usually end up in relationships, but I've been broken up with and like cut the fuck off. Like, mm -hmm. like I was with this guy for a few months. I even moved in with him. Don't ever, if you live with, if you move in with a man, make sure you have a backup plan. I have my own apartment. I live, you know what I'm saying? That like, you always make sure you have a backup plan. Moved in with him. He went back to his baby mom, obviously. And literally, like, cut me off. So, but it was understandable because it was his baby mama. You feel me? But, I guess I, I for the kids, uh, put it in, in a different light. On a first date, has the guy reflects? I'm on, on a first date. Yeah. Mm, no, but okay. I've never like, I don't date like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't like go on dates with people. Usually, when I'm talking, like it's to just somebody, gonna fuck with you. The moment I, they fuck right, with you, right? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I've never really had okay. dates. That's what you call a vibe. That's what you call Scorpio. For anybody that wants to know. Scorpios right here. Vibe connection. I like connections. All right, what about you? Vibe. Nah, nobody has ever flaked on me. I'm the one that does the flaking. The most that ever happens, honestly, I'm just being real, like, it's more like rearranged. Like, we can't go Monday, but we can go Wednesday. So, yeah, I can't elaborate on that. I can't relate. What about you? No. No. Not at all. Never? No. Maybe I'm just messing with the wrong guys. Damn. I think so. I have to put yeah. you on to Miami. Like we're still yeah. learning. Damn. We're in the like learning process. We got this though. But no, you gotta Never. get the scanner. What about you? <laughs> um. Yeah. Like she said, I'm usually the one that does does the flaking. So by like the third time we try, he probably could have flaked like the first or second time, but I flaked those times. So by the <laughs> third time, he's like, all right, like for real, for real. So yeah, no. Man, girls never get flaked on, man. <laughs> okay, yeah. it's, it's amazing, like how it's like. I had to sit here and try to think about. Prior it. Prior to those, because uh, you yeah, said two remember. times. Prior to those two times, can you remember the last time I got flaked on you? No. In Boston, maybe. No, right? No, no. Yeah. So only okay. I think it's because you guys asked us out. That's why. Right. You guys initiate it first ma mm -hmm. mainly yeah. yeah i mean realistically yeah, speaking it. women well, rarely that's except supposed for, to happen well mm -hmm. i mean if we're paying for the date i mean shit we should ask you all right <laughs> yeah I, I would i would argue even if a chick likes you 90 percent of the time she ain't even gonna initiate she's gonna be like oh, so that's not that's true, not true. Nah, nah, bitches i do it all the time no bitches is shooting they shot all 2023 so you're telling me we are you want your man to just sit there and you invite him out yeah no, no, no. I mean, I just know, like, yeah. Yeah. Fresh, fresh. Yeah. We gotta phrase a it correctly. Yeah. Realistically no. speaking, when's the last time you asked a dude out on a date oh. that you just met? A dude. I did, and he didn't did. respond. Oh, so. oh well, right. you just gotta hold so, on. I don't think, oh. like they I said, like Miami it. men are trash now. There's a red flag over there. There's a red flag over here. Over there, okay, oh, well, no, I got a thousand of them. Maybe she's too nice. Maybe it's because I intimidate Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm too strong. Let's just go around real fast so that we make this actually organized and we have good answers here. Have you ever asked a guy out on a date? 
Yes no. or no? No. Honestly. You. Yes. How many times have you done it? Uh, once in my 29 years of living. Fantastic. What about you? <laughs> Me, um, yeah, I did ask a guy out on a date. Um, what happened is I called into the radio station. I won some tickets. I was talking to him at the time. I was like, okay, was this a celebrity or some shit? No, 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 no. I won the tickets by calling the radio show. Okay, it was a, I think, fabulous and Jada Kiss concert. I was talking to him at the time. I was like, okay, let's slide. He, we went, we bought the drink. But this is a guy that you knew though, right? No, no, no. I'm talking somebody. I'm talking about a guy like you. You like see you approach him and you say I want to take you out. No. Exactly. Okay. I, don't got, I don't got the balls. So I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> but I'll shoot my shot when I need to. I mean, does like you throw everybody at me at work and then me being like, let's go get breakfast after work, does that count? Yeah. I guess kind of. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you, you it's, like, that's yeah. Yeah. I it's a, it's a, it's a strange me... way. Okay. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm, it's ghetto, but it counts. I, it's <laughs> not even so much ghetto. A bitch was hungry after work. <laughs> 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 but but you didn't, didn't, did you pay? No. Did you pay for breakfast? Why? Throwing no. money at her nope. all night. All right. So, technically, how about this? Let me let me rephrase paying. it. That you're not trying to finesse. Mm. That you actually like, like, okay, I, I'm gonna ask this guy out. Like, he's a try. I'm gonna approach him and I'm gonna tell him, take me out. Yeah, that's it. Take nope. What about you? Yeah. You the one time. Um, two. Two times. Mm -hmm. and, and you're how old? Twenty-five. Okay, so two times in twenty-five years. She did it today too. So three. <laughs> she said this light in her DM, so just saying. All right. Big oh, I'm, I'm very bold. I'm very bold. That's, that's, that's not that's that, 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 there you go. So okay. So uh all right, so two. All right. No, I never went up to a guy like I that fr fresh off, I'm like, oh hey, you, you know, I'm gonna okay. take you out. Yeah. <laughs> like And just to clarify, you approached this guy like at a public establishment or something like that? Or? No, it was through text. Like, hey, you wanna grab dinner? How'd you how'd you get his number? I met him at the place. Okay, and then after you got his number, then you said, let's go out. No, like, we spoke, and then after a while, I was like, okay, I'm just But you approached him. him? Yeah, I approached him. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. Yes, there must be something wrong with me. How many times have you done it? Multiple. I did it today. <laughs> <laughs> My nigga just be uh, acting nigga. Oh, like, like, no, 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 she in the WNBA. I love the honesty. Okay, can you tell us how you did it? Yeah, you are different. That's a fact. <laughs> My nigga got okay, game, bro. Um, How'd you do it? What was I, that? I noticed that he had followed me on Instagram, like, a while back uh, internet dude no 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 <laughs> yeah but then uh he called me this morning because i gave him my number like maybe a couple weeks ago he called me this morning so we had like a nice conversation and at the end i was like you know i'm i'm actually really impressed with by the way that you know we communicate and we were kind of on the same page about shit mm -hmm. and he was like really cool the way the conversation was going i really enjoyed it so i was like so if you're not busy later we should maybe grab some dinner and then he was like, okay, I like that. And he actually asked me, hey, do you still want to hang out? And I was like, no, I'm going to go on the podcast. But let's do it. God damn it. I told him about it. And he was like, damn, that sounds really cool. You should go. I was like, yeah, okay. I know. I'm going to go. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Well, I have a question uh, for y'all, though. Would y'all let a girl take her out if she came up and asked y'all? Well, I have been approached multiple times. But my thing is, like, that doesn't happen too often in terms of, like, let's say, for example. It's rare. Oh, this whole panel. Mm -hmm. Maybe two, I'm three rare. girls out. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it's like. That is not common at all. It's rare like, too. And, yeah. and if you do do it, mm -hmm. how it's, often? Once in your life, twice in your life. Right. Mm -hmm. But if a girl like did that and she's like, "Hey, you're," I don't know what the fuck somebody would say, but like, "Hey, want to go out?" <laughs> like, you why know? wouldn't you go out with right. them? That's well, the real question. Well, here's no, he didn't say he wouldn't. No. I, I, okay. So here's the thing, right? If you're telling me where to go, that's a problem because <laughs> I want to plan a date. Oh. For example, if I'm gonna pay, what I'm gonna plan likes. a fun, cool date. <laughs> We can actually enjoy it, connect on a mm. deeper level. That's mm -hmm. what I want to do as mm. a, as a man. Okay. So if you're telling me, oh, let's go here, nah, baby girl, slow down a little bit. Let's right. Take you over here and let's vibe. I like that. But right, right. can I say, what if she wants to show you a vibe? Mm. Oh. If, no, hold on, do it in bed. Men lead. Men lead. Do it. You want to be in control? After, mm -hmm. then you know what? I, I got you. Right. Right. Okay. But the first one, I want to. Yeah, fuck that so, shit. I'm so, just gonna say it. He's a gentleman. Women can't lead shit, bro. Y'all don't know what you want. I'm just saying. That's fine. I'm never letting a chick take me out or pick where we're gonna go because women don't know what the fuck they want, man. Y'all don't even know what you want to eat for lunch. You guys don't know it's not true. That's not true. I know what I like. So fresh in mind. I know how I like it. Period. Fresh in mind. I don't mind a man leading and picking out. That's fine. I'm humble. I just go with the flow. But I also think that I never ask a guy out to a restaurant. They usually take the lead and do that. But I have pursued a guy before. I have met a guy somewhere. I liked it vibes. He was quiet. He was cool. He was humble. And I searched down Instagram till I found him and I was up in his DMs. I laughed at every um pose joke until like he noticed me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, 
got my way in. So I think that should count too. Like I if am, I see somebody that like I am gonna pursue I guess them, it's that's a true. Age, uh, I and clarified. I don't mind doing it. Like when's the last time you saw a guy at a bar or on the street or whatever, and you went up and you approached them, not using the internet? That's what I, I should have specified. All that. the time. I, I, okay, you mm. you did it twice in twenty five no. years. I really what, about, and then what about you? I've done it a lot of times. A bunch of, okay, you, you want another one? You have another <laughs> type of time. Done it I a just, few right. times. I just want breakfast oh. after work. <laughs> yeah, 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 you, know, you try to finesse. I did it one no. time. No, nah, but he was cool though. All right. So, so you've did done it, it maybe 10, 20 times. Uh, if that. I mean, if I feel, if I see you at a spot and I'm like, damn, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. and we're making like eye contact and yeah. I feel like there's a little bit of something there, mm-hmm. I'm going to be like, okay. If and you don't listen. come up to me, I feel like well, you sleep. Well, I'm gonna hey, be ladies, like, there's there's a reason why I asked this, mm-hmm. right? And then for you, you said two times. Recently, yeah. Okay, so yeah. the reason why I say that, ladies, is because a guy mm-hmm. might approach forty girls in a night and still fail. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right. like, or mm-hmm. he might get it. like one out of forty because like, like like with you guys, when you guys take a shot, it's it's a hit. A hit. 99% of the time. True. Well, unless you go to Simmons College. But other than that, you're going to be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, you're going to be good. You're going you're gonna to get, get something. Right. Most, most Because most guys aren't used to getting approached by women, mm-hmm. to be right. honest with you. Mm-hmm. So, um, all right, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll hit the chats. And then and we after got... this, spin the wheel. Oh. Oh, boy, yeah. We got a game fun. for y'all. We need some ladies at the test over here, if you don't mind. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, <laughs> Keep that away. <laughs> we got a game that's going to come up for y'all in a second. And shout out to Christina in the back. She's going to set up the... The lie detector test. You thought you all were safe, but you guys are not. But you're not. All right. Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Lopez, 20 bucks. Okay. Bro, not for nothing. No, it's late. But homie from podcast, Flake, co-host, was saying yo was immature, was a Virgo till he was 30, and he was his wife's first, bro. What? DJ Scratch Sound, the audacity. Kid with the great content. Yeah, bro. I'm, like I said, a lot of guys will sit there and try to you know tell you something. But like I said before, no one has talked to more women than we have. Mm-hmm. And on top of that, we also talk to guys. So we see both perspectives, and we're in a very good position <laughs> to be able to Pause. come. Pause. For help and advice. <laughs> <laughs> good job, We're in a very good position to help. Yeah. I'm not gay. Thank you, sir, for catching that. So uh, that. For all the pervs out there that might try to clip that and clip say some crazy oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Fresh is BBC. Fresh, mm-hmm. I told you I got you. Make a move, my brother. I will handle the rest. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Fresh, jump on that. Okay. John the Don, thank you so much. Uh, Malik Nelson. Harley Quinn was a therapist and Joker still turned her out. <laughs> true. Thanks. That's true. Montclair Bandit uh, goes, Icy, you can't be clapping Mr. Misogyny and the Bandit. This is Haram. Princess, I heard you taking men out. What's up? I'm a strong black king. Okay. Okay. What you going to do, Princess? Yeah, what are you going to say to that? I'm good, thanks. Agent no. Fish. No. Okay. okay. Agent and don't worry, guys. Uh, Christine's going to set y'all up. Don't worry. She's going to just show you guys how to do it. <laughs> uh, Montclair Bandit, t- 20 bucks, says, Thank the Lord. Princess, I'm 6'3". Baby, won't you come my way? Hey. You still paying for dinner, little bruh? You're not going to little bruh me. Uh-uh. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth because we're going to fight, okay? <laughs> All right. NFL Players Association. Uh, these girls caught more balls than the Rams. Oh, <laughs> shit. Oh, man. 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 Homer Simpin. I like the earlier start time. The last ca- uh, couple nights. Nice to see the pretty princess on the show again. She has a super cute smile with those dimples and she has swag and a dope personality. You want, you want to drop your IG for them? Thank you. That was actually Follow me cute. on Instagram. <laughs> Spanish with two H's. Flies with two Y's. Okay. All right. Send your dick pics over there, guys. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do all that. Right, we got a new steward. 20 bucks says, that, to all no. the girls, how did you finesse the last guy you've been with? Ooh. Oh, that's a mm. good question. All right. I got my Pokemon game. No, no, he's not. All right, we'll start. Let, let's finish these, these real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, Omar, 20 bucks, says, I see. How could you say this? I'm heartbroken. BBC gang down bad right now. That's true, man. You got us down. Uh, Big Mill, 20 bucks, says, A pasa un ordia e papi papimento <laughs> matu masha bonita. Spanish, read that. Wait, Wait Papiamento? That's, that's not really Spanish. Wait, nigga, that's not even Spanish. That's, not, <laughs> that's, that's Italian. That's, that's for it's, Sam. It's actually, what, what, what is that? That's for Sam. Oh, shit. Can read that? Um, I can Papiamento. read that. That's like my mother language. What is it? What is it? Apasa honor di e papi papiamento. Matamasha bonita. He basically Ooh, said, okay. Can you speak papiamento and you're very pretty? Oh, wow. Okay. You, okay. Yeah, that's okay, me. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what, what language What's, is that? Papiamento. Papiamento. Papi 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 Only like three yeah. little islands in the world it's speak that. It's Aruba, Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. Curacao. Yeah. What's your Instagram? The ABC Islands. Viva la Diva. ABC Islands. Yeah. There you go. All right. I guess it's time for you to shoot your shot, my friend. And that language that no one else speaks. Okay, King Isaiatic. Um, uh, Fresh Martin, as an OG, I salute you, young brothers, for repping the 70s masculinity vibe to all of today's females. Do you have any value if you can't impress a blind man? 
Because if you have no body, you're nobody. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay. Big Al. Uh, girl in orange, did your ex... Ask you to milk his prostate. Shout out to Easy Bands. Wow. Oh. First of all, he wasn't an ex. I said it was somebody I was talking to. Okay. And I saw y'all hating in the comments. So everybody that was hating in the comments, you probably like to get your ass played with. So Okay, uh, we got um thank you for that. And then uh last one, Ash Cash. Hey Martin. What would you rate me one out of ten? I well, cannot see what's going well, on she's there. She's like an Instagram influencer, I think. No, I, I don't. She does, bro. She's like she just she asked. I think it's a troll her. account. She so cute or not? Yeah, she not fresh. Fresh. No, she, she, she cute. Fresh. Fresh. Yeah, I think it's a troll yeah. account. Okay. All right, so uh, cool. Um, all right, Nothing. so we're gonna play a game. Uh, fresh, you got it. Or you want me to get it? I got mm-hmm. it. Over okay. here. You, yeah, you explain it to the la- explain okay. the rules to the ladies now. So we're gonna put it in front of the camera so, yeah. so that they can't see it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll just spin the wheel and whatever it lands on, oh we'll ask questions. Goodness. Oh my god, yes. no, yeah. no, no, no. Are... Not blind. So we can't even see. You can't wow. see it. Oh, can you plead the fifth? Damn, I wanted like, to spin it. Huh? Can you plead a fifth? Yeah. Or are you having to take a shot? Well, I mean, this is America, you know, you could uh definitely have your rights, but not on this show. Wow. Right. If you don't want to answer it. Then take a shot. Take a yeah, shot. take a shot. Yeah. I mean, well, I we'll, need see, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> All right. But uh, basically, the rules are we're going to do a spin, mm-hmm. right? We're going to ask a question, oh and God. you have to answer it truthfully or falsely, but we'll let you know. With this, uh, <laughs> sensor there. So, um, yeah. Chris, are we good to go or no? Oh, God. Yeah, Christina, you, you want to spin or no? What? Oh. Uh, yeah, <laughs> right Christina, do you want to spin it or we'll have. Are you, you want to do it? Huh? No, yeah. no, 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 we'll do it. All right, I'll do it. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, then. It says on okay. my. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay. Swear on my right hand. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, hope you guys can see this here on the screen. I'll spin it real quick. All right. You guys ready? Mm-hmm. Shark shit. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. All right. All right. Okay. So, um, so fresh. You spin it. Take my card. All right. What was that? Mike. Oh, you want me to do cinema? No, 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 yeah, well, you're talking to Mike. Okay, all right then. So, okay, I will, I will. All right, guys. So, uh, so we're gonna do the first uh, question here. So, what we'll do is, um, we're gonna have Fresh spin it, okay? And then he's gonna ask. Well, we're gonna we're gonna hit the once he, once he spins it and we know the question. Each of you guys are gonna hit the button. Wait, wait, wait. wait don't don't hit it yet. But which which button is it? Right. The one that's a start. So like okay. Right here. So to yeah, your I'm yeah ready. on the right hand side of your of your thing the one okay don't hit it yet ladies don't hit it yet but we're gonna have you guys hit it and turn hers on uh, Christina it is on it is this is my yeah it's not on now yeah so okay so good yeah free so it's on each of your right hands correct mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay so it's gonna be the one that is closest to your pinky okay the button closest to your pinky on the front of the, the machine right, right under it mm-hmm. yeah yeah right under okay yeah so y'all see it all of you see it cool mm-hmm. all right so fresh. You're going to spin it. Once we have the question, mm-hmm. then I'm going to tell them all to hit the button. And then I'll ask, then you will ask the question, I guess. <laughs> Which I'm going to set up the mic. So, uh, the good thing is, I'm so glad you can't see me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. So, uh, Ready? yes. And you know, you can just ask the question from over there. And then that will give me time for the second question. I'll have the second mic set up. Cool. It's fine. He can ask it from there and, and they'll, they'll hear. Cool. So, all right. So, spin it. All right, spin it. Go ahead. So the audience is going to know the question. Hold on, another shitty spin. Yeah, yeah, give it a good spin. Yeah, I was about to say, you stopped that shit. I was like, yeah, cheater. No black. <laughs> okay. Which one is it? Are you having sex with more than one person? <laughs> so everybody got to answer it? <laughs> <laughs> I, so oh, I'm here. Right, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> Plot the lies. <laughs> Everybody when do we press the button? All right, all right, all right, all right. So I got it, I got it. So each of you hit that button. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Now the question is: Have you had sex with more than one person in the same day? One finger for yes, two fingers for no. Throw it up. Ow! What the fuck? It shocked me before I even answered. Why did it shock me? It shocked me before. This is oh, bullshit. Wait, you cool. said in the same day. Why did it shock me? Why did it shock me? It's supposed to go off for your temperature or your like your, your reading, but just say yes or no. 
<laughs> but why did it shock me? It shocked me when I, I was being honest. I didn't even answer. <laughs> it shocked me while I was being okay. honest. All right, all right. It shocked me. Right. 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 We started right. this before. Okay. Fake news. <laughs> okay, ladies. When this is a prank. Yeah, no, it's not a prank. This is for real. Prank. You just want to shock us. Fucking asshole. It's for real. It's for real. That's so forced you to lie. Let's hit that. Um, that question. I'm about to lie on the next one. Oh, sorry. That's super chat. Real quick, I'm gonna set up the other mic. All right. All right, guys, we do it live. We do it live. Okay. So there was a super chat question that that uh, that someone asked before that was really good. Um, it was. Uh, it was. Sorry, sorry. And and ladies, yeah, y'all could keep your hand on it, and then let me just don't worry. I That's promise it won't shock said. you this time. You know, you guys. No, keep going down, Chris. Um, right there. Oh, sorry. Oh, All yeah, right. How did you finesse the last guy you were with? Cool. Bam. So I'm gonna get All this right. thing set. We'll start here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the last guy. Was <laughs> Like seriously? Yeah. Like like, in a serious relationship? Yeah. I didn't finesse him. He finessed me and made me have a kid. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, he finessed the shit out of me. Wait, wait, hold on. But let's, let's, let's real here. If he wanted a kid, you could have said no. So who finessed who? I didn't finesse him, but he was kind of like, I think it was kind of like he threatened me. Oh, shit. He was yeah, like, if you don't have this baby bitch, I'm going to kill you. Oh, shit. <laughs> yes or no? Yes. I see. Not gonna let me lie. Listen, it, that nigga crazy. He crazy. That nigga crazy. Okay. crazy. What was the question again? So, how do you finesse the last guy that you you were with? How did you finesse him? Um, the last guy that I was with, like that, I actually took serious. Yeah, that you took serious. Yeah. He finessed me. Oh, wow. <laughs> he, how? How? He finessed to me. I don't even want to get into it. I'm so embarrassed. Because I'm, I'm such an alpha female, so for me to even like stoop what? to that level and let, and let a man like, <laughs> <laughs> I, actually like I, I actually liked him for real. I actually <laughs> liked, liked him. I liked, liked it a lot. Him. I liked it. Did it. Yeah. <laughs> I liked it. Him. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, you liked it. I was infatuated. I was infatuated. Very okay. much so. But he finessed me. Okay. And after that, I I had whole different standards of like the type of man that I wanted to be with and that I was gonna tolerate. So basically, for both of y'all got finesse. Cool. Same. <laughs> also <my> finesse. <laughs> what it's what okay, happened? Sis. It was just a setup. I don't know. It was all a lie. <laughs> you guys love to sell dreams and hopes, and that's not always real. So. You got some bad luck then. I do. I don't know <laughs> what's going juju. on. But <laughs> I, I like to always say, you know, what goes around comes around. So Facts. I think, you need, hey, to, I think no. you need to start trying dating girls. <laughs> no, I love it. words. I will forever yeah. love it. No, no, you made me so It's okay. I had to shoot my shot at. I said it. I had to shoot my shot. You missed the next one, nigga. My nigga need a girl. Take it. I had to go. Girls are words. Right. What's the choice? What was the last thing I finessed out of somebody? My Pokemon game <laughs> and my phone bill. That phone was bill? the last two, the last, like, recently, yeah. Okay. What about you? What's your definition of finesse? So, like, let's say, for example, you're with somebody. Nigga, like, what you got out of that you nigga? A, you got a one-up <laughs> out of them, basically. Like, for, for example, let's say, like, you were like he him did and something and you took, like, a car or, like, a like, dog or pet. I took his freedom. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's deep. Well, Sunk that yeah. nigga to jail. Oh, I took his motherfucking freedom. What he did? What happened? Like he he tried to. He bit you. my face. Oh. I swear to God, there's an article about it. He he actually like robbed me, broke my phone because we were fighting over him cheating on me. He broke my phone, took my money, bit my face, and now he's in federal prison. So, whoa, wow. he's in the feds. Yeah, what because he's he's a, he's a felon in possession of a firearm. Oh, oh. he was already fucked. Okay. Yeah, yeah just a time felon. You know, I took his freedom. <laughs> Don't play with me. Don't. One thing I don't do, I don't do that cop shit. But if you put your hands on me and you're a grown ass man, yeah, we don't tell guys to ever put their hands on women at all. So, so no to abuse. And you bit my face. Yes. Go to therapy. He bit my face. Like literally, the article says that's some zombie shit. Davenport <laughs> man, <laughs> Davenport <laughs> man arrested for biting a woman's face. That's <laughs> what he's arrested for. It was embarrassing <laughs> as fuck. Damn. <laughs> what about you? Well, I'm not really a finesser. I mean, the most that I'll say for the last guy I was with. I mean, I had two cars. <laughs> you know, so I made him drive one, and hey, that's one less car payment. I made him pay for it. So I mean, you took over your car payment. Yeah, like for good? you're dri- not not for good for the time that he had it, but it's like, yeah, you are gonna pay for it. One less car payment for me, okay. or one less car expense. It's Pretty not really finesse. Up, you're getting a okay. use out of it. So. What about you? 
I'm gonna plead the fifth because he may be watching. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh, no. Next person. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> oh, so you can you can do the same to him? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, yeah. no. No. Okay. What about you? Um, I feel like we finessed Merch. each other. Like he, he, what? he paid my rent for like a year and a half straight. He put me in a new apartment. Mm. He paid my rent, nice apartment, everything. But I really liked him, so it wasn't a finesse. Right. And at the end of the day, he was doing his little dirt, and I was being finessed out of like you know, my heart. Okay. So all in all, the whole but house. We, I heard someone both? went to the feds because of. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Bunny I'll putting niggas in jail for putting yeah. their hands on her. So apparently he the bit and biting her face. I wish I had my phone. Guys, but they they don't they don't really finesse like that. Oh. That's a fact. I don't finesse. Because it be comes genuine. back around. What right. you do yeah. comes be back around. And they be fucking... Ooh. Can I say something? Because mm-hmm. I see people are like feeling some type of way of what I said. But I'm going to say this, though. I am proud of myself, definitely, mm-hmm. because of the simple fact I'm not one of those bitches that end up getting killed by being with a man who mm-hmm. continually beat their ass. Because that's right. what's going to happen for mm-hmm. me. So, yes, I am proud of the fact that he's locked up and I was able to grow some balls and be like, you know, get the fuck out that situation. Yeah. But I can hold so, you, Not though. everybody I, can do that. Who chose the man? No, but listen, no, no, no. But listen, <laughs> y'all can't <laughs> ask. No, 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 have y'all yeah. heard of a honeymoon phase? Mm-hmm. Have y'all heard of a honeymoon mm-hmm. phase? He was completely nice. And like, mm-hmm. like I went through that. He went through a I whole like transition Ooh, where I didn't facts. know who he was, and I was so sc- I was scared for my life. Like it's I had no. Grooming. He was a Libra. Right, I, no, he was a Scorpio. <laughs> yes. oh, oh, yeah. the the Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio men, men? I mean, run. Mm-hmm. Each run. Scorpio man I, I can attest to that. Scorpio women, women are nothing see. like that. Let's Let's it's just a man. Scorpio women are just a baby version. Flags, ladies. Simple as that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, is that is it really wrong to give a nigga the benefit of the doubt when they're treating you good? I'm just being mm-hmm. honest like y'all can't really sit there and try to like disclaim on anybody because you really don't know who people are bro so if I'm trying to figure out who the fuck you are and you right. putting this mask on how the fuck am I really supposed to know you playing me I'm not playing yeah, you yeah but you see but, like for example if I was so that's girl, not my mistake no wait, that's wait, wait, yours wait, wait no not you but for example right m- not me most I'm women, everyone no most women they see a guy for example if I'm dating a chick and she's, you know, come oh home late. Oh my God, who the <laughs> hell? She's... My bad. Go, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so, I'm laying a chick, right? She's home home late. She's going with a girl. She's like, no, baby, I ain't doing nothing. And she's getting drunk. She's getting lit. Those are red flags. So most girls with guys, when they're dating guys, they see certain signs and they would ignore it because they want to see the best in the guy. That's what I'm saying. That's true. I mean, but it's not like won't. they punch us on the first date. For me. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's not no, like, right. hey, by the way, I, I beat woman. No, it's like that right. one situation that happens where they go yes. seven, eight months later down the right. line. Where you make them like, mad and they slap the fuck out. You're like, Yo, what? Literally. Literally. I thought she was it's a lit Christian. Lit <laughs> <laughs> fuck you slapping me for? I don't know about you guys. But I always got a mask on. I'd be beating the shit out of my girl. So I'd be yeah. suplex. And we'd be wrestling. <laughs> suplex and that chick all over the place. She'll call the cops on me though. And I got plenty of guns and I'm a felt. No, I'm just kidding. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. So uh anyway, yeah, allegedly. Thank you, Mo. Allegedly. Um so what we're gonna do here is uh we're gonna play the game. All right, mm-hmm. so each of the ladies uh, hit the button and turn it on on the side that says start. Man, I don't want to do this. It, it says zap start. me. It says start. Yep. It zapped me when I was being honest. It yeah, well, I think it's a lying. fucking. So, uh, okay, yeah. So, all right, this is so, all right, cool. I think everyone's thing is going to get turned on. So, how we're, we're going to do is I got it. Don't worry. I'm going to ask the question every day. I got a mic set up over there. So, uh, you just moderate over here. I will. Uh... So, this is how it's going to go, ladies. All right? <laughs> Shit, I still got the mask on. Either way, <laughs> the point is... I like role play. Let's play a game. Oh, oh, yes. oh. And then I like the wrestle. All right, so... Oh. All right, so this is what we're going to do. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spin the wheel, and I'm going to ask the question. You guys are not going to know the question, but when I ask you the question, it's going to be yes or no, okay? <clears throat> One finger means yes, two fingers means no. So I'm going to ask... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask the question. Mm-hmm. As a matter of fact, actually, no. You guys are going to hit start when I tell you to, mm-hmm. which is on your pinky side, right? Mm-hmm. You're going to hit start when I tell you. Then I'm going to ask the question. Mm-hmm. Then after I ask the question, yes I need you no. guys to go ahead and say one for yes or two for no. Don't worry about my mask, God damn it. <laughs> and my glasses. <laughs> so yeah, one for yes, two for no. Okay. All right. I'm going to ask the question. I'm going to spin the wheel. I'm going to tell you guys one. All right. So, uh, Fresh, you just moderate here. Don't have to say yes or no. I think yeah, so. Yes no. I was just about to say, I feel like yes you got to no, answer. No, no, yes no, because no. if they try to say it, no one's going to know what they said with the mics. That's why it's got to be with the fingers. Yes? Oh, okay. okay. No. No. 
Okay. okay? Simple. Yes? So No. So say yes, yes? No. No, 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 no. You with your other hand. Oh. With your other hand. Okay, I was confused. With there. your other got hand, it, no. Go <laughs> with it. so one, yes, no. So Very I go like other hand. yes and no? Yep. Oh, okay, okay. Simple. Cool. No. With your left hand. Okay. All right, cool. All right, all right. We got the rules uh out the way. So I'm gonna go over there, I'm gonna spin it, and then we're gonna hit start before I spin it. All right. So actually no, I'll i I'll they spin it for them. I'm nervous. <laughs> I am too. Is that me? And I was right, being honest. Hurt. I, I, I didn't even say nothing. Can you guys, maybe, can you hear me? Yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Capalot. Can you hear me right now? Yes, can I can hear right you. Now? No, okay, no. test, test, test. All right, cool. So I got the mic over here. I'm going to spin it. The audience is going to see what the question is, but you guys are not. Okay. okay. So here. I'm going to spin it, and then I'll tell you guys when to hit start. And then remember, one finger is yes, two fingers is no. Oh okay. Goodness. All right, so be honest or else. Oh, Lord. All right, you guys are going to know the question. I will, though. Let's go. Okay. Everybody hit start. <laughs> Have you cheated? Yes or no? No. Have you no. cheated? Yes no. or no? Put the fingers no. up. Put the fingers no. up. No. Yes or no? <gasps> Why is this happening? <laughs> me? Bro, what the I fuck? lied. I'm done. I, I lied. lied. I lied. I lied. I lied. And I didn't get zapped. This, this shit is, is fake. <laughs> I told the truth. I told the truth. I lied. I, lied. I, I lied. said truth. no. And I have cheated so who before. Got, who got zapped? This shit. I got zapped. I got zapped. zapped. And I was being I honest. Got zapped, I, I got zapped. I cheated. I was being honest. I was being honest. I got zapped. I didn't get zapped. I got zapped, and I was being I, honest. Oh, no, I, I didn't, didn't get zapped. Y'all got, got five I told the truth. Though, What's going on? Who got zapped? Yeah, yeah who got zapped? Oh, no, I didn't. I got zapped, but I no, was being honest. It was supposed to be one or two fingers. <laughs> so, uh, you said two, so no. So, no. did you no. cheat? Didn't cheat, and I got zapped. I don't know what the fuck that did was. Did you cheat? No. Did you cheat? I didn't, no. Maybe your definition did. of cheat. I didn't. I did, and I said no. said they did cheat, didn't get zapped. No, because I did cheat and didn't get zapped. I'm telling the truth. All right. So, um, all right. So, we're going to do another question. Man. Clearly, the, my machine's broken. I no, think when it's broken, that, man. you're telling the truth. Because remember, ladies, it, it, oh, it tests the opposite. It. It I think it's the opposite. Of deception. Deception. That's what it tests well, for. I'm nervous. My hands are sweaty. All right. Yes. All right you're go. lying. Because I'm nervous because Fresh is here. Everyone's Eminem now. Wait, what? Oh, you ain't here that? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Byron. I know you're trying to get out of the cast. But I just caught that. Yeah, me too. I was like, oh, okay. I'm actually nervous to Ladies, go ahead. Take your hand off. <laughs> She's playing bit. with you, Fresh. All right, don't get all nervous. Don't get all scared. <laughs> Woosa, you know what I'm saying? Woosa, woosa. Let's do some meditation, guys, yeah, yeah, right yeah. now. <laughs> so, Tell so the truth, in. so help me, don't God. Worry. Remember, <laughs> ladies, blunt. one finger right. is yes, yes. two Amen. fingers is no. All okay. right? So if you're going to, because I'm going to ask you, I'm not going to lie to you. These questions are going to ask. Maybe, but why is it that? But what if it's getting somebody else's answer? Huh? What do you mean? It's not getting somebody else's answer. It's your answer. No, that's your energy. Hold on, hold on. Scratch that. That's right. <laughs> so much, so much. That was a dumbass. Like, yeah, it's okay. Forget it. Okay. Brain okay. fart. Brain fart. So, yeah. So, um, <laughs> so yeah. So you guys are just gonna remember. One finger, bro. Mm -hmm. One finger is yes. I don't like being two that. Fingers. Two fingers no. is no. Stop lying. All right. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Okay. Two fingers is no. Um. Ready. Whenever you are. I'm gonna be honest right. now. Okay, you're gonna be honest now. Thank you. Right. At least she's honest. Yeah. Okay. Hold on, let me just put this. Honest on. about being honest. This <laughs> shit hurts, man. All right, we'll do we'll do two more. All right. Okay, cool. So throw your hands on. Is everybody on? Mm -hmm. You see the light? I think All yours right. needs to get turned on. Uh not yet to start. Yep. Start? Supposed to start? No, you're about to get no, started. No, 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 no. You're supposed to say start. Oh, so uh, you're supposed to just turn it on. You're supposed to just turn say it on. Say no. Come on here. Say no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hold on. I'll reset you. Hold on. It's good. All right, so, so current she, she told the truth. <laughs> Oh, you got shot. Yeah, yeah, because you, you actually, yeah, you did. Okay, I'm now, now you go ahead. Let's just be zapping people. All right, now you on? You on? Put your hand on. Okay, ladies, so I'm going to spin it. Remember, mm -hmm. yes is one finger. I think two is no. Oh. Two is no. Oh, mine's yes. off? Yeah, you got to turn, turn it on, on that side. The yeah, other, oh. not, not the star side, the other way. Other side. The thumb side. No. Is the it other it? side, mama. The no, pinky, no, that, where your pinky's no, no, at. No, she had it right. That's start. The thumb side is right here. The pinky is for... I think, Christina, make sure they're all... Yours off, too. Mine's too. Yeah, oh yeah, just go. There you go. I'm oh. testing it out. I'm fucking yeah. crying right this now. This one. Oh. <laughs> Hold on. Hers, Hers turned off too. Yours too, maybe. Yours too? Cut yours. All right, give us a second, guys. Give us a second. Give this us thing a second. is stuck to the there table. There you go. Right. I know. That means All right, you're good. I put it on. Cool, cool. It's saying We're I'm on. a truthful person. <laughs> I'm good. Well, we haven't asked the question. We're all on. I'm truthful. I don't even need this. So we're all on now. We're on. Okay, Christina, we good? 
I'm all of them are on? Everybody has it, like, all right. Yeah, she's just making sure that er er everybody's hand is on it so you guys don't get shocked. So please follow directions. All right, we good? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to spin it. All right, spin it. And then I'm going to ask the question after, oh all right? So, Wusa, relax, ladies, all right? Don't worry, it's not that bad. <laughs> okay, stupid. Chris, don't show it. Hmm. Okay, cool. Chris, I'm showing it to the chat. Yeah, only chat can see it. All right, guys. I sure was looking like Everybody hit start. <laughs> Have you smashed in public? Yes or no? Yes. 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 <laughs> Have you smashed in public? Yes. yes. Keep your fingers up. Keep it real fucking If I get... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What do you fuck the dog shit in the world? It's public. I mean, said I'm saying the truth. Y'all bitches is lying. I have. So who got shocked? Who got shocked? I got shocked. I fucked up. I got shocked. I did. Three? I'm telling you, when I was honest. Y'all said you did smash the public? Yes. I have. I have anxiety. Are you anxious? I mean, kind of. I feel like I'm under pressure right now. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that too. Bro, shit. <laughs> That's why I said I need a Why is it shocking you when you're being honest? I ain't gonna lie to you guys. You're like, are you, are you nervous? Anxious? I already told you the answer. And I ain't gonna lie to you guys. It is hilarious <laughs> watching them get shocked from here. Like, you want to cry right? You want me to swing? We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. I'm just kidding. Besides the fact that some of these girls are lying, you can also see who has anxiety, which is hilarious. Y'all just want to shock me. My hands are sweating right now. They said they believe in their lies. Okay. Right. Got one dry hand. We're gonna do one more, ladies. We're gonna do one more. One more. This is a fake lie detector. All right. So look. We'll do this. Just fingers up. No, no okay. yes or no. Because I don't like okay. being that. Right. Just fingers up. Yeah. Okay. No talking. Just fingers up. Okay. okay. Remember, one is yes, two is no. All right. We'll okay. do. We'll do one more. One more. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, is that getting zapped? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. One more. She's yeah. One more. Sorry. One more. What the hell? One more. Time. I don't like this kind of zap. Okay. Right. So Your hands feel oh, good. Good, good. She got soft ass hands. Don't be scared, guys. Don't be scared. All right. So again, ladies, please focus. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna spin it. Then I'm gonna ask the question. Okay. Okay. Well, actually, I'll tell you to say start. Then I'll ask the question. Oh, that was weak. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> All right. Remember, guys, one finger yes, two fingers no. Don't say anything. Complete silence. All right? Everybody has start. Have you smashed your friend's man? Who got shocked? Who got shocked? I got, I got shocked. shocked. And wait, I was being truthful. Wait, wait, wait. Last minute. H hands up that got, hold on, hold on. Hands up that got shocked. That got shocked. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, six. So, and did you guys say, did you say you smashed your friends? Yeah. Hell no. Oh, okay. I, I, yeah, yeah, like I, in high school. <laughs> I, you, told the, you told the truth. I told the truth. Okay. I did, but maybe in my heart, it wasn't her man. So. <laughs> <laughs> it be like that. Okay, we can start. We can start. All right, all right. Yo, this is. I don't like that. It was my man. <laughs> I'm thinking about this fucking podcast single and shit, man. <laughs> all right. Um. So, um, chats or do so, we? What's the chats? Okay, yeah, we'll do some chats, and then and then ladies. we're gonna refine it, guys. Don't worry, yeah. we we gonna keep innovating. But ladies, no, it's your turn to ask us questions on the yes. panel. Yes. So Ooh. dating questions. I, I want to hear the people, guys. Yeah. Or we do chats is here as well. So yeah. 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 Can we do the calls? We're in charge doing calls one no. day. Uh, uh, That's Friday. a Friday. Friday yeah. show. We do those for Friday. Yeah. How, how long are you in town? I mean, I can come back whenever. Okay. You know, y'all family. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I should come Friday and then y'all party Saturday. Okay. There you go. Mm. I can You're going to send us the info on that? You're going to send us the info on that? I'm not going to work none of that. Oh. No plants on the oh yacht, because I'll push those bitches off. No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. All right, Fresh. Um, I believe it's here. No. We got King Azatec. Uh, My 20 bucks says Fresh. My man, as an OG. Oh, no. We, we did that one, that one already, Chris. Is, that one too as well. Which one is here? Right, right here? Nah. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, J Martin, 20 bucks says, Myron, can you say one, two, three, four, five? Uh, <laughs> five. <laughs> 
<laughs> the only one like that. <laughs> the, the Chinese man, he's like, the oh, he wants one. Okay. 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 Moncler Bennett, twenty bucks, says third time the charm. Which one of y'all clap with Christina? Christina, what's up? Hey, Who's Christina? Who's Christina? Hmm? The girl in the back. Oh. 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 Why they always over here helping? They, and I mean, she, she always on her ass, she is though. Fun, she is. So. She is. Yeah, yeah she's cute. Right. Them things be thangin'. Thangin', so. thangin', thangin', thangin'. thangin'. Describe good D game for the ladies. Oh. Mm. Mm. oh. Ooh. Ooh. I can't tell my secrets, bro. I just can't. Mm. Mm. Oh. You have to say no, one. How can y'all say what just good one. D game is? Red All flag. Right. Red flag. Suspect. Being toxic, that's a good, good D, D game. game <laughs> is when you can dig. <laughs> the fuck are you can what? No, 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 no. The uh, chat came in, brush. Huh? What chat came in? <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh. Uh -oh. Well, then. I love me some competition. Oh. No. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My dog coming in with oh, the heat. Oh. <laughs> Who's her Yo, man? Fresh. 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 have people fresh. sending threats. I have a question. I have a question for you. Not fresh off the market. Fresh. I have a question. This is a very important question. Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, shit. So what lady has the impression that you're messing around with her? Oh, because Miranda does. <coughs> Miranda. So what about red that? Flag. <laughs> Who is the <laughs> Miranda? Miranda got you got pressure. a couple red flags going <laughs> on, fresh. You have a type. Um, so oh allegedly. Uh, let's keep the allegedly. Uh, let's, let's move on because uh, that was in the past. <laughs> <laughs> allegedly. Okay. Um, so it's just an ex that's all obsessed with him. Jay that's Martin, all. twenty bucks. <laughs> God, man. Uh, Chris, okay, you know what? You know what? Bro. You know what? <laughs> fuck your fuck. Ooh, not <laughs> Let's keep the show going. Me, me. I, it's cute as fuck. I love it. I know. All right, Christina. I <laughs> wish the people want to know what the fuck is going on, man. Tell them. Nigga, I don't know. Okay. Who is Miranda? <laughs> All right, Jim Martin, 20 bucks. Christina. <laughs> law school i'm an attorney licensed in two states if you need any help studying let me know i'm pretty busy about making <laughs> up, nigga. Oh, yo, I yo you yo. guys made my fucking day yo Y'all got me dead, bro. Mm, wait, wait, hold oh, on. Man, Mari just. Uh, Christina get Mari in a set to be. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> uh, yo. All right, listen, man, I'm single. We're going right? to continue the show. <laughs> this is fucking yeah. comedy. All right. Um, so so they want to know. I don't even know. What is good uh, D game? Well, the chat wants to know. Clearly, you've been giving some good D game. Right? <laughs> right. Miranda, Miranda, Miranda shit. Shit. secrets, Miranda. Yeah, right. what, what did you do to get someone to super chat in an angry Twenty dollars straight to me, Miranda. Like, he hit nothing. you with the side stroke. Probably What's a troll, but still, he's Who said that? Like this in the pussy the show going, <laughs> the show He's about to get in trouble. You guys got fresh shook. <laughs> all right, uh, <laughs> cool, chilling. All right, uh, no, but we're cool. Chillin'. All jokes aside, cool. uh, do you want to tell the people what you uh, the, the good D game? <sighs> all right, man. So, if you want to know good D game, get on Patreon. Because I can go into detail there. Mm -hmm. But for, right. a, mm -hmm. for a quick tip, give them the clean YouTube mm -hmm. version. Quick tip, no pun intended. Uh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> go on, fresh. Go on. Go on. Good D game is spontaneous, Okay. slow and fast. So, mm -hmm. what do I mean by that? You start slow, or you start fast, and you go in and out. However, pay attention to how she's reacting to when you go slow or fast. And then from that point, you kind of, kind of, you could kind of like maneuver in that sense. However, the full details will be on Patreon because I can't see it on YouTube. There okay, you go. you're already fucked up. Right. All right, fair enough. You right. fucked up already, though. You said start fast. Right, thank you. I'll Red flag for me. You eat the cat first. Well, well, he did, you did say cat first. But he did then, say go then, slow yeah, and fast and watch your reaction say. to both. Yeah, either, either he did or say you that. Start, I'm just saying, like, look at her reaction when you do it. At that point. Okay. Right. Start off that's that's everybody corners. likes different things. But see, this is a I universal powers, question. Right? So like, they can't do what I do. We got powers. Oh. Wow. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Power Ranger. Like the video, guys. Um. All right. So uh, what was what was an like other, the fucking did we miss video. any other chat? Uh, let me see. Because I was up there spinning wheels and shit. 
<laughs> and getting girls shocked. <laughs> yeah, I, you guys no don't understand. I think yours was rigged because you, you got shocked the whole time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All All right. Right. Kanye, Kanye West. Kanye West in the house. Uh, what, what was the chat say? Kanye West? What uh, does it just say? click it on the top. Chris. Black billionaire? No. Uh, okay, there we go. The girl next to Fresh in the red is fine as fuck. I got to get that, bro. Mm. You want to drop your... Hey, yay, hey, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> what's your uh, Instagram? Um, is that really Kanye West? No. 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 <laughs> no, it's not. I was like, damn, he left his ex and now he's on another girl. <laughs> For real. Like, I know I don't look better than Kanye, but we go. Anyway. Uh, Spanish 2 h dot fly 2 Ys 3 underscores. Cool. All right. Cool. Uh, uh, any other... What's up, Mara? There you go. For you. Read Fresh. <laughs> Read Fresh is Moran. Right. Oh! <laughs> Nigga, who, who are you people? Yo, what's up with you, man? You have the right to remain silent. You have the right to remain silent. You have the right against you in the court of Christian faith. <laughs> <laughs> and I advise you as your co host to not say shit, my friend. <laughs> 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 oh, I love how we're all hey, just man. laughing at his, <laughs> his expense. I wish, her, I wish her the best, okay? <laughs> That's I wish her the best. Oh, okay. Oh, so, no. the questions here uh, questions, comments, last thoughts on the show. I will start uh, right here. <laughs> questions for us on the panel, other girls. For you guys? Um, Why do men flake? Why do men, I don't know, do stuff? Or disagreements. Um, or disagreements. With, with what we say. Why do men act like they give a fuck when they really don't? Mm. Because they get pussy. Smash. One word. <laughs> or the pussy. pussy. But I'm saying, like, why you guys go like the extra, extra, extra miles? I got the answer for this one. I'll just say again. Just to like not the give pussy. a fuck. Damn. Mm. Like, no, go, go ahead. Damn, I'll, I'll give her actual, actual legit, concrete answer. The reason why is for attention. So like, so like, the thing is, is like sex is fairly hard to come across for guys. Mm. So mm. if he's smashing you, he's like, all right, cool. I got one. Let me try to get a few others. But I know dealing with women, she's going to want something a little bit more serious in the future. So let me beat her to the punch and give her that illusion for the time being so that I can keep her on the string. Mm -hmm. So that's how a that lot of guys sense. operate. Like a guy will think to you, like think to himself like, fuck, I don't even really like this girl like that, but the pussy's bomb, but I need to keep her mm -hmm. with me to some degree. So he's got to like almost sell you a dream. Guys because should be therapists. Most guys know deep down that if I don't like get, sell this girl a dream, at some point what's going to happen is Women can rarely just give you casual sex for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. They're going to want something more. So he's beating mm -hmm. you to the punch by giving you that girlfriend type energy up front to kind of sell you like, okay, if she is fucking with other guys, she'll stop fucking with them, mm -hmm. come to me, but I'm going to still play the field. Now, mm -hmm. you know, can a lot of guys actually execute this and have multiple girls doing this? No. So, not all, but a good amount can. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because let's be honest, the guys that are attractive to one girl more than likely are going to be attractive to a multitude of girls. Mm -hmm. And if he's able to string along like that. So a lot of times why guys pretend to care is because so that they can keep you on the string so that they can continue to get sex from you while they work on other prospects. Well that said. was deep. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Mm -hmm. I, I respect And once again, for the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? So yeah, that's Long the God honest truth. Okay. Like, I guess y'all apply to this one. How do you guys feel about guys in the entertainment industry being in relationships? Mm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, we're great guys, man. I mean, <laughs> okay, yeah, man. yeah, of course. Uh, sure. mm -hmm. We we love our people. You know, we give. It depends. Sure what is. can you can you be a little bit more Content. specific when we talk about entertainment? Are we talking rappers? Are we talking actors? No, we we're talking. We're talking I'll, I'll say just like in the Miami lifestyle, like in the nighttime, promoters, DJs, club owners. Mm. Okay, all of the above. So it's like a cycle, right? And it's like a circle jerk. So let me explain. When they, you mean you. I don't want to say this on YouTube because like it's too much, but I'll break it down in an easy way to how to say it, right? So let's say you're in a circle of like promoters, entertainers, whatever, right? They all know each other. So you smash one guy in that group, everyone's gonna know. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing, right? But why? Hold on, let me uh, let me let me explain. <laughs> I see, like, but why? So, but why? Love talking about why yeah, they they guys, guys talk more out, than man. girls. Yeah, let's say you up, literally, right? definitely do. Let's say on the scene and you're at let's say club live, right? Niggas are gonna see your win this person on this day mm -hmm. uh, let's say for example things don't work out you break up they've already talked about you in one circle so just so you know guys do talk in those circles and they'll say oh yeah shorty over there yeah she's smashing like but what do you guys gain from that no no we do the same thing though Let me Girl, talk. yeah we really do though <laughs> so guys mm -hmm. in, in this industry right definitely are a way to get clout and get into certain circles however just know if you do anything with those people you're going to be talked about no matter what you do. Mm -hmm. I got a little counter argument right now. Go ahead. Is in, in a situation for me, for example, 
<clears throat> I've kind of been the one that does the ghosting after the one time we hang out. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times guys are too embarrassed to even talk about it. Well, that's because mm -hmm. you ghosted him. If you didn't ghost him and you were actually doing stuff for him, mm -hmm. he'd be confident to say whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very true. Even above. That's why you got to chill with him one time. And if you know he's whack, cut him off. Cut him off. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean. Don't um, keep dragging him because of money. Yeah, to, to, to go just to your thing with the, like, fresh hit the nail on the head. Like, you know, if a dude knows that you have hooked up with someone that he knows in his circle, it pretty much eliminates you most of the time. Not all the time, but as a pr serious prospect. Yeah. Because it's going to be embarrassing to him. That he brings you out, and then people that he knows in his circle have had no, sex with you, because then that's makes sense. Yeah, that's like, true. for a guy, that's true. Like yeah. I, the easiest way I could put it is this: Let's be honest, ladies. You want someone that's lit. You know, maybe it's a famous person, mm -hmm. athlete, whatever it is, entertainer. Mm -hmm. Men want the opposite. You want a guy with a blue check and some status. Men want a woman that has no status and nobody knows who the fuck she is. Mm -hmm. yeah, we brought true. on many Very people true. that are famous on the show, mm -hmm. and one thing that I've come to realize from a lot of them is they say. I want to be able to bring my girl to a party and no one knows mm -hmm. who the hell she is. Yeah. She don't have Instagram. She ain't lit. Nobody knows who she is. Or she no a homebody. Smashed her. No okay. one smashed her. Okay. Yeah, so so uh, a man's reputation a lot of the times, guys, comes from um, what he creates in the world and then also the reputation that his girl brings in. That's why guys take such great care in who they wife up because if your girl has a background, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make you look bad. But Rep representation. Because, no, but guys, lesson, lesson yeah. until here. Do not tell other niggas who you smash is one it makes you look weak and weird, it's, it's and weird. secondly bro if you tell them the pussy they're gonna tell on you so there you go what if they ask they you have to tell it's none, none of your business mm -hmm. no. okay now they, then they find out it's like niggas talk more than bitches it's like you're a liar and you're a liar you gotta share no, with your bitch, closest I told friends you. now if they assume <laughs> that's different but Both, you don't close? ever say yo. I All right, but if close. you lie and then they end up finding out the truth and it's proof, then it's worse. It's worse. You but, even look bad. But let's be honest here, though. Your homeboys, you're gonna tell them. <laughs> yeah, your closest closest friends. He's saying don't go around homeboys. and tell randoms. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's, what that's true. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Okay, wait, wait. I thought was the question like if your partner asked you or no? No, no, she was just no. asking about entertainers in yeah. Miami in general. Yeah. No, no, no. I was asking what she was saying right now. Like, if somebody like asks if, say you, you're talking to somebody and they ask you like, or no, he was saying like, don't blatantly just go out and say like, oh, don't I fucked this tell. person. No, no, no. I obviously not. Person. Okay, okay. I right. thought the question but, was, but she was saying, if what dude. if they ask? And I feel like if they ask, like, I would tell the truth because at the end of the day, when they find out, you look crazy. Yeah, that, yeah. I agree too. Nah, My son's dad. You just look like you was mining your You're not going to tell the truth? <laughs> and they be like, oh, so you fuck Ashley? It, yeah, it depends, yeah, it depends on who the dude is. It depends on who the guy is. You know what I'm saying? You got to disclaim would only, all these niggas. Yeah, I would only damn. admit to it if it was like a situation, like if it was actually more than a hookup. That's it. Okay. All right. Uh... So, so like what things that we disagree on? No, like, no, no. Uh, Question, comment, uh, the the topic that you want to discuss. Whatever. We're, we're giving we're giving it to y'all to to say something. Like this is your chance. The host. I, hold on, turning quick. it to you guys. Guys in the chat, the club is not open. Is because we're beginning the show at least two hours and some to keep it short. So the ladies can go. Out, we can go as well if we need to. So that's why we're doing it uh, this way. Just so you guys know in the chat. Right, so this is my just recent disagreement with guys nowadays. I'm tired of like guys try to um, pretend to be the man that I want to lock me in. And mm -hmm. then once they get me, they just like, they feel like, okay, so I'm stuck or I'm locked in. And then they just keep on because they know, okay, overall, I'm a good woman. I'm a good person to have and to have your back. You pretend you be this, you think I'm locked in. And then now you just switch and become like... Not become the real you, I would say, instead of like working, trying to be better to be, you know what I'm saying? To like stay how you were in the beginning and all that. Like, I hate the like switch and bait type stuff. So that's my mm, current disagreement. So yeah. I would mm. say uh, either they're comfortable or they feel like they got you now. So mm. at this point, why should I improve or even go further? However, that's the guy that you chose. Because mm -hmm. a guy with success and ambition, he's going to want to improve every single day. Right. So that type right. of guy that you're talking to. He just wanted to get what he wanted from you, and that's pretty much it. But right. a guy that's on his shit moving forward, he's going to improve every single day. Gym, mm. business, lifestyle. So mm. that type of guy is always going to be spontaneous and on the move. Right. But, you know, just who you choose. And right. not only that, that's but true. if I'm going to be all the way 1,000, women can't handle the truth. So that's why so many oh, guys lie. You know, no, I'm going to be real women. with you. That's not true. Yeah. No, that's not no, true. No, no. See, y'all bitches is lying. <laughs> no! No, 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 because this is out of personal experience and nobody could take this from me. I came on this show and I did as used to say, I like I, I like a nigga to tell me, you know, straight up and this, this, this and that. Mm -hmm. When a nigga told me straight up he fucked another bitch, my little heart was so fucking bro, broke. I no, why would you be? No, no bro. No, 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 listen, listen.
Listen, no, 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 no. I need to know that. Let, 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 let her make her point. How about this? How about this? Let, let her make her point. Then you guys will be open to say, you know, disagreement, whatever. Let her just make her point. Only first. reason why I say this is because I go back on to my first love. My first love, he did cheat on me, but I never knew about it. I never found out about it. It never, like, caught up in my shit. And I'm the type of bitch I will find shit out. Like, I'm okay. I'm gonna look through that phone. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't never find nothing. So, like, with my illusion of those five years, I really thought, damn, this nigga loved me. Yeah. You know? But in reality, when we had our talk after, like, you know, so many years, and he told me, you know, yeah, I did do that. But, like, I was just scared that, you know, you was gonna go crazy on me. So that's why I made sure, like, you know, yeah. I covered my ass. Right. So... Oh. Okay. He loved you. No, I'm just. He no. loved you for real. That's why he covered that, it up. Exactly, the right but way. that's that's the <laughs> difference of what I'm really trying to say is is the fact that you respected me to a certain degree that you did not want me to find right. out. Mm-hmm. Now yeah, these niggas that be blatantly cheating in y'all faces, they mm-hmm. don't give a fuck no about you. Fucks. You understand what I'm saying? They're, that I think mm-hmm. that's the plain fucking difference there, and the no, cup is empty. <laughs> 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 um, all right, so did someone had a disagreement with that. They wanted to say something. Good. Uh, go ahead, Saruba. I. I said that the last time I was here. I like the truth. Mm -hmm. I'm a very realistic person. Give it to me how it is. I'll Mm -hmm. fuck with it or I don't. I've been with people who've been like, yo, this and this Mm -hmm. happened. I cool. I know about it. I don't want to find out about shit because I don't want to look dumb in these streets. Mm -hmm. Like if a girl walk up to me like, oh, yeah, I fucked your nigga. I'm gonna be like, yeah, bitch, I let you have him that night. Good for you. Right. But I don't, I'm very cold. See, yeah. In a sense, I just what I'm really trying to say is because, like, you know, Miami niggas they be mm-hmm. crazy. So it's like <laughs> I literally just dealing with one person who truly did actually love me versus how everybody else is treating me. You see the difference. You understand? Right. But for yeah, I do get it. But for the most part, I agree with you there because I feel like if a nigga More really love you and fuck with you. He gonna keep the respect. Like you hold your position, even though he got his little like side piece. You that bitch know she a fucking side piece. Exactly. Exactly. You know I hundred percent agree with you on that one. How is so, that? Yeah. How is that being respectful though? I don't agree with it at all. I mean, one, cheating, talking to other bitches. Okay, I understand what y'all are saying with the oh, he's not gonna tell you because he wants to blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. Fuck all that. There's AIDS, herpes, gonorrhea, chlamydia. I don't mm-hmm. play none of that shit, nigga. As long as you wearing a condom, I'm but good. But how do you know? But at the end, of, you gotta you train your nigga. Your nigga, gotta, gotta, do be, it your nigga anyway. gotta do it. But, yeah, yeah. but that's so, what I'm saying though. If you're sleeping with somebody else, like have enough respect for my body to let me know. It sounds that, good. You should make that right. That's why there's so, 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 so many diseases. Right. So, so, so I want to say there's so guys, many guys, diseases. Guys, guys, So, um, you know, I, I, I get what you guys are saying. Like, hey, I t- tell me the truth. And hey, you might be one of the few women that can handle the truth. But most girls are not going to be okay with a guy saying, you know what? Listen, I just want casual sex from you. Nothing mm-hmm. serious. I'm going to continue to have casual sex with you. <laughs> and I'm going to go out and see other women and have casual sex with them as well. That breaks my heart. And, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you, you take if it or leave I it. Like it. Most guys can't do that. Right. They, they just can't. And then on top of that, most women can't accept it. So here's the thing. Men always adapt to the market. Mm-hmm. Men want sex from women. Women are the ones that give the sex. You're the guys, mm-hmm. the gatekeepers. So for men to get sex, they must do what? Adapt and acclimate to the situation. Most men lie because most women can't handle the truth. Right. That is the truth. Because most guys that are very good at women have to play a certain game and play a certain type of facade. Mm-hmm. And that is because women, and I've said this many times mm-hmm. on a podcast, you guys get offended by me saying it, but I will say it, live in a Disney fairy tale. You guys are not used to living in reality. Way too emotional. You're way too emotional and way, and, and, you, and you guys tend to base your life of, off of fictional events. This is why women versus men prefer to read fiction books men prefer non-fiction women prefer fiction yeah. the most popular book for women a for fantasy. a very long time was 50 shades of gray mm-hmm. women like a fantasy they like a disney fairy tale etc so men understanding this what does the market want the market wants disney fairy tales and fantasies so i must sell a certain fantasy because most women don't want to hear the cold hard truth listen i don't find you that interesting i want to have casual mm-hmm. sex with you though however and i mm-hmm. want to entertain other women while i do so most girls are gonna look at you and be like uh no Stupid and be done. <laughs> so, but men still want the sex like I told you before, right? So they're mm-hmm. gonna continue to string you along and sell you that dream. So that is why guys do what they do because most women, unfortunately, cannot handle the truth. Lie to me, give me the fantasy, baby. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I'm also, done. Here's yeah, the still, problem, right? I, I still let's say we do tell you the truth. Mm-hmm. How far can it go? Because, for example, let's say, right? He told you, you know what, babe, I stepped out, I had a one night stand with this chick, and that was it. Did you fuck right? up raw? No, that's, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, cool, right? that's cool, right? But babe, you know what? I was freaky as hell at the anal. And oh. I did it raw. Oh. Me. Okay, raw? No, no, that's hey. disgusting as fuck. Okay. Are, you, are you okay the with it? The first that? night? 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> no, raw she is not. It's like raw. It's like we're kind of in the gray area. As long as you don't build an emotional attachment to this person you're stepping out with, that's also like true. we have. Okay, cool. That's okay, right? Oh, you know what, babe? All right, I gotta be really honest with you. I went to uh, Cancun with her, and we had threesomes together with other random girls. Oh no! Now we're, then we're done. See. Mm-hmm. But there's a limit. Hold on, hold you on. can have a limit. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. Niggas are not going to take you because before. guess but what? Why are you Too trying far? to live your That's life no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Too <laughs> far means that you're gone. So as a man, I'm going to say just enough so you don't leave. So what if I say I went to Miami, babe? And I had it's not two, the same for us. But that's we lose, just, we lose but our that's, value. I understand we lose that, value. but it's still yeah, saying men, like that is like, like that's not that's that's that's, uh, that's like not fair. Saying, that like we have to sleep with somebody who's fucking other bitches and we can't know. Like I I would have way more respect for somebody if they told me because I might be okay with it. See, you never know. How would you? How would I know? R are two different things, and mm-hmm. the nigga doesn't want to lose you. So you know what? Mm-hmm. I ain't saying shit. That's it's, whack. That's a weak man. No. Yeah, it's weak not or not, weak. he wants you to keep gotta, you there. That's weak. Give it a buck. Right. So I mean, yeah, I we think. we don't we don't deal with the should, could, or would. Yeah. It's what is. It, what it, is, what is is that men understand that to be able to have access to a lot of women, a lot of the times you have to lie to a certain degree. Yep. It is what it is, man. Like I mean, here's the thing. On this pod, we advocate guys be honest with the girl. Tell them mm-hmm. like I tell yeah. chicks all the time. I'm not gonna be monogamous to you. That's very stupid. I think a man being monogamous that gets to a certain level is dumb. But most guys aren't gonna do that. But you tell them. Was that? But you tell them the girls. Yeah. Yes. 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 Exactly. I do. I do. Respect but, you but for hey, that. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna keep it all the way one thousand. <laughs> I lose a lot of girls for being honest like that, though. Yeah. I lose a lot because instantly I shatter their dream. <laughs> oh, I ain't never gonna get this guy to myself. Fuck it. I'm not even gonna get invested, and they walk away and go to somebody else. Cause so uh, I lose a lot of girls for being crazy. honest. Us women, I don't know what it is, but we just we 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 want that dick for like ten to twenty, thirty, sixty years. Like I, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is. <laughs> like, bro, once I get that connection with you, I'm obsessed with you. I yeah. love you. You're my everything. Why do you like this bitch? Yeah. <laughs> you understand Thanks. what I'm saying? Because because men are, are different than women, and and I think this is one of the biggest things that women can't understand is that men can have sex with other girls and still love their girl the same. You know what I mean? Mm. And you could say, hey, well, I should be able to do the same thing. Well, unfortunately, no, I don't think that. No, oh, no, you don't? Saying, okay, no, I don't you're think saying that. Fair, that's, so that's disgusting but okay, i'm just saying right. like is. like men wouldn't like that you feel me men yeah, would want, you would want to know if you had a female and she was fucking other people you would want to know just because you don't want to put your dick in another bitch who but, has but there, another but man's a difference. semen like, I'll, all inside I'll, of her that's still, disgusting i'll still like i'll still have sex with her but i just won't take her serious so so she won't get what she wants does that make sense women will typically want a relationship with a higher quality man but mm-hmm. if you if you do, do certain activities You've now disqualified yourself from said relationship, and now you're recreational use only. Mm. Does that make sense? So, like, mm-hmm. a woman being promiscuous is not the same as a man being promiscuous. Right. Mm. Like, whether girls want to accept it or not, a man that fucks other girls is inherently attractive and arousing to a degree. And that's real here. Versus a woman that yeah. fucks a lot of dudes is repulsive. Mm-hmm. I believe because it's it's being a honest. competition in females that is like, oh, you think you got bitches? All right, but then when you get the nigga in your hands, it kind of be like that. It's an L. Like putting, yeah. It's an L because yeah. here, here's the thing. It if, do you, be if, like you got, that. if you got a winner, right? Let's say you got a man that's like a one percent guy, guys, money together, whatever, very attractive, right? And you go and you cheat on him, that's he's gonna with. kick you to the yeah, curb. And not only that, you fuck the dude. That isn't going to take care of you. That might have been of a lower socioeconomic status. Or if you did mm. meet a guy that was on the same level, he's not going to take you serious because he knows that, that you, you fucked slept, him right. when you had a guy. Mm. So he's definitely not going to take you serious. So who really mm-hmm. takes the L? The girl takes the L because, all right, cool. I'm going to go find another girl. That's bad. But you're not necessarily going to find a guy on that level to replace him. That's that why I tell you. girls all the time. Once you deal with a certain caliber of guy, you mm. have to accept the fact he's going to fuck other girls. Accept it and just be happy of being the main you won't be the only one, but mm-hmm. you'll be number one. And I think girls need to understand that and accept it. But that that's, like, that goes so, one second. That goes yeah. back along with the whole like with my first my first love thing, like how I didn't find out about it, even if I looked through his phone, like it was well hidden. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it ties back down to that because, bro, make the shit feel real. Yeah. You yeah. understand I what I'm saying? I mean, it is real to them. So, I think the like, biggest part... Go on, fresh, no, I'm just saying how like they just be blatantly disrespecting no, cheating, like how no, they be doing I'm, it. I, well... I agree with Myron for the first time, I think. <laughs> like, uh, if you're the main, you get taken care of. You're in that position. Whoever he's but fucking with, he has, he has no emotional connection with. Right. Or anything like he gonna look out for you, but he not gonna give a fuck about the side that's bitch. So yeah. I think that, like that's <laughs> the difference. <between laughs> but I ain't gonna that's lie. There's certain lie. situations I that side that. bitches Rook be Rook winning Rook on the low. I think the biggest thing here is the connection because let's say you're the one he chose. Think about this, right? 
Girls all the time want this man, but he chose you. Mm-hmm. Now, out of that group, why is he choosing you? Because mm-hmm. you're the one he wants to be with. Mm-hmm. So long term, overall, is everybody going to cheat? Probably. Mm-hmm. But we're just saying, hey, if you got that, that role in that position, why be mad at it? It is what it is. Maybe because he and knows you're you dumb. And if you want an NBA player, or an NFL player, just for real here. You got to be happen. realistic. It is what People, it is. Good. Uh, so I think that we're all missing out on a, a game here and a million dollar question. Um, so... For Fresh and Myron, so how does a girl get to be the main? What do you provide to get to be the main mm. uh, for a high-value man? Then us question. worrying about side chick, da, da, da. that's what I want to know. Mm. And, I, and I want an honest, <laughs> real answer. <laughs> You're the funniest ah, fuck. And I was on a winning streak. I was on a winning streak. Uh, but, two things, compliance and, uh, and, and not being useless. Okay. Uh, if I'm going to be 1,000% honest, most mm-hmm. modern-day women are fucking useless. They kind of come in and mm-hmm. they just... Um, they become a, they're a liability and not really an asset. So Damn. as soon as a girl comes in and she acquiesces to what you got going on and she becomes an asset, I try to be an asset. That's that's really what it is: being an asset and being compliant. Mm. You know, I think a lot of girls think it's okay and attractive to mm. you know be a little bit more rambunctious, be competitive, mm. be assertive, be dominant, whatever. These traits are actually very unattractive to most mm-hmm. men. Okay. Like, so, I, I like, agree. Don't listen to what women tell you about being strong and independent. Right. Whatever, it's all cap, bro. Like, because if I turn around and I told you. Hey, on Saturdays I like to wear heels and uh-huh. like, what the fuck? <laughs> you look at me like, uh, uh, no, thank you. But that's exactly how men feel when a woman says, "I got a career, I'm successful," right. Right. and they lead with their success. I'm not saying, you know, a girl that has a degree is dumb. Or sorry, mm-hmm. uh, ugly. I'm mean, obviously, mm-hmm. you know, you guys are educated. You guys aren't ugly. But what I am saying is that it doesn't necessarily add to your repertoire and make you sexier. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. men look at things that don't. Women tend to look at. Um, women tend to expect. They they think what they find attractive in men, Romance. men should find attractive right. in women. Well, and attraction is never symmetrical. Never. Yeah. It's always asymmetrical. So I think once a woman understands that, hey, men want a lady just like you want a man. Because mm-hmm. if I decide to wear heels on Saturdays, you'd be like, oh, what no. the fuck? You would no. not date me seriously. Or make me grab your ass. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I think once women understand that men and women mm-hmm. are different and men typically want a feminine woman that's going to mm-hmm. be compliant and pleasant. Right. Should be good and be an asset versus being a liability. I have a right, question. I think a simple way to put this I is like, look at yeah, we'll, we'll let you. We're get, gonna yeah. finish. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Don't worry, ladies. You're all gonna get to talk. Mm-hmm. Okay. Look at your your grandmother, right? Or mm-hmm. before in the olden days, mm-hmm. the modern woman now doesn't have traits of like uh, what was back then. For example, mm-hmm. being feminine, you know, mm-hmm. being an asset to the house, being a, a mother first mm-hmm. versus now it's career. Uh, I'm independent. I'm a boss, babe, it's, which is cool. Mm-hmm. But the problem is that like, what is the man that you actually want? What does he want? Mm-hmm. And just being peace of mind, you know, peace in the home. He comes home, it's peaceful. You know, dinner's probably made already. The kids are being taken care of. And then secondly, let's say for example, <clears throat> you're with a guy, you're arguing with him every night. It's, it's chaos. He doesn't mm-hmm. want that. Mm-hmm. So peaceful, feminine, mm-hmm. and of course, on some level, appealing to him sexually. Right. And just a question to interject right there. So you're saying that, you know, um, which is a fact, I agree, that women now are does not have the traits back in the days as our grandma and That's stuff true. like that. Yeah. But do you feel like men nowadays still have that trait like our grandpa it's i feel like it's a totally now, disconnect and we're having the same struggle with each sex a lot of men are not men anymore true. <laughs> true. That's true. I love that. however let's see you, you find need a, a drum guy. Roll. <laughs> that is let's see you find a guy that's true. actually the man that you want mm-hmm. do you know what he really wants that's a problem mm-hmm. girls like oh his teacher take me as i am mm-hmm. but no. guess what he's worked his ass off to get to where he's where he's at mm-hmm. he's not gonna uh, tolerate less so. Well, I like to ask men nowadays, like, what do you, I actually get into the meat of it, especially if I like you, like, what do you want in a woman? What do you see mm. in a woman? And yes. I try to, like, I'm not going to say I'm going to change my whole and put on a facade, but yeah. if most of the things that he like, if I already have those qualities and if I can build on those qualities, I build on those qualities to be the type of woman that he wants. I don't mind yeah, doing I think that. A good foundation is you're feminine, mm. you know, obviously you're uh, in shape, and mm-hmm. thirdly, you're, you're, I want to say, uh, asset to his business or his, his lifestyle. I am. So. All right, I'm gonna. This is gonna be unpopular, but I'm just gonna. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say it. You already fucked up by having to ask him. <laughs> because <laughs> because and I, and, I, and, I, and let me spin mm-hmm. it back because I've I've realized that like uh, mm-hmm. sometimes when I say things, women look at me like, what the fuck mm-hmm. are you like? What? So let me just. How about this? Let's say you go on a date with a guy, mm-hmm. and you ask him, or he asks you, well, what do you like in a guy, right? And he has to learn how to protect yeah. you from danger. Mm-hmm. He has to learn how to be a leader. He has mm-hmm. to learn how to be confident. He has to learn how to figure out all this stuff out mm-hmm. let's be honest you're gonna be like what the fuck this guy isn't attractive because he just doesn't get it mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. women want a guy that just gets it men uh, that, also want a woman so that just gets it mm-hmm. right i shouldn't have to like 
you know, obviously to some degree, you're going to have to like, you know, coach your girl mm -hmm. to become the best girlfriend and tell her, hey, I like that, I like that, whatever. But she still has to have rudimentary basics down. Right. You know what I'm saying? I shouldn't have to say, cook for me when I come home from work. Or right. I shouldn't have yeah. to say, the place should be spotless when I walk in. Right. I shouldn't right. have to say, keep your I voice agree. down when I'm around my friends and don't embarrass mm -hmm. me about a loud, mm -hmm. obnoxious bimbo. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is that when a man has to go out of his way to tell a lady how to be a lady, she's no longer really a lady. Right. You know, he's gonna, mm -hmm. he's, you're automatically going to go into recreational use only in his head. And here's mm -hmm. the thing that sucks for women. Damn. Men, since I told you guys before, men can't be honest with women. They also can be honest with you about what they don't like about you. Mm -hmm. So what are most guys going to do? They're going to play Suck the game, mm -hmm. get the sex, and, get rid of and then leave. They're like, all right, cool. Like this girl is useless. She doesn't really, she she doesn't really help out. She just, she kind of just like comes in, takes, makes mm -hmm. me go yep. on stupid ass dates, whatever. Mm -hmm. Guys will play the game to get what they want and then leave. So what I always tell girls is this. It doesn't matter how many motherfuckers in your DM. It doesn't matter how many guys hit you up. It doesn't matter how many guys are willing to, you know, fly you out, whatever. How many guys can you fucking keep around after you smash them? Bam. Mm -hmm. That's the real question. Mm -hmm. But I have a if question. If you can't keep them around after you fuck, mm -hmm. you out of luck. Done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Simple as that. So, mm -hmm. so, so, so I think my thing is, you know, if, if a woman, ha you know, and I'm not just saying this to pick on no, you because no, a lot no, of girls no, ask that, fine. you know, they kind of want to figure out mm -hmm. what, what the man likes. I'll keep it nice and simple for you. I have a quick question. Be friendly. Mm -hmm. Be nice. Be feminine. He shouldn't have to tell you, hey, you know, like he shouldn't have to tell you anything really when it comes down to it. Right. If you're just a lady naturally, then he's going to be good. Talk, just like yeah. you want him to be a man and be natural. You want him to pick the day. You want him to hold, you know, hold the door open for you. You want him to be a gentleman naturally. He wants to be a lady naturally. Yeah. Right. So it goes both ways. It's just that the difference is that men are never going to tell women, hey, I need you to be more lady. Like they're just going <laughs> to play the game, get the sex right. and run. And then you'll be wondering like, why do he ghost me? Mm. Mm. I have a question. Yeah, sure. So what if you're... A female and you have your head above your shoulders you work educated genuine caring loving you have all the qualities why would a guy not want to sit there and be serious about it with you i'll answer this right now let's reverse the roles right me and you go on a date all right <laughs> i like this okay me and you go on a date and we show up and you know uh, you're attracted to me or whatever right and i'm attracted to you we're on our first date mm. and on the first date, i proceed to tell you how uh, you know, I ripped the runway when I walked down it. I'm a model, right? I got a Gucci shoe collection, 100 pairs. I got a walk-in closet. It's really nice. And I start to tell you about like, you know, I got Jimmy Choo shoes. I got some exclusive gear that no one else has. I also have an extensive Jordan collection. Got some Balenciaga jackets. I got a bunch of cool shit mm. when it cut with my fashion, right? And you know, I also that I like to, you know, I like to keep up with my looks. I like to get my hands done every now and then with manicure. Uh, you know, I like to keep myself up. I'm a pretty boy. <laughs> And I tell you about all my, all the things, all the, you know, things I do to keep my looks up. What would you, what was your thoughts beyond that? It's a lot, but that's not what I'm asking. I'm asking, well, hold on, like, hold on. it's going to all make sense here in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. It's a lot. It's too much. Like okay. you learn that as you meet the person, you, you learn those qualities. You know that he likes to dress well. You know yeah. that he's educated. He's caring. But that's still but not I'm the strictly question. talking about me taking care of myself. I'm talking mm -hmm. of like I'm almost kind of like a metro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah well, metro. What, what, what it's just a lot. Thoughts? It's your bum it's guarding lot, me. Yeah. So what is your th uh, does it? So what's your thoughts on it? It's is a it turn great? Off. It's a turn off. It's a turn off. Fantastic. Right. That's exactly how men feel about mm -hmm. women with careers. It's no one cares. <laughs> <laughs> no one cares. No, but because I'm let me let me let me just because here's the thing. A lot of women try to fight me on this. I'm just gonna and you just listen to me very closely. Your career is great for you. My fashion sense in my walk-in closet is great for me. Mm -hmm. But women don't benefit from a man that's dressed well, just like men don't benefit from a woman that's educated and makes money. Understood. We look for different things. Mm -hmm. You're providing security, right? On your end as the, mm -hmm. as the woman with a good career. I'm providing beauty as a man. <laughs> right. well, who gives a fuck? Men want beauty, women want security. So we're reversing the roles here. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, is that when you tell a man these things, I have a career, I have to make money, mm -hmm. etc. It's indifference. We don't care. Mm -hmm. It's great. Like they'll sit there, and be like, "Oh, really? Tell me more." Oh, where'd you go to school? Simmons, that's fantastic. I was down the street at BU. I don't fucking know. They're gonna say mm -hmm. whatever they gotta say to get laid. But deep, deep down, men really don't care about it. And I'll take it a step further. The more money the man makes, the less he cares. Mm -hmm. How many millionaires have you guys seen in Miami right. with fucking dumbass bimbos? Mm -hmm. Million, right? Mm -hmm. All the time. So, and I didn't say all that to like cut you off, no. or whatever, but I just really want you to understand. Just same level of like. I don't care that you're, uh, uh, you know, fashionably, you know, dress well and you take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. That's how men feel about a woman that has a career. It's not, it's good for you, but it doesn't benefit me of the opposite gender. But what if she doesn't say it? Like you, you both know what you are. Mm -hmm. You both know you have a good status. You're caring. You're great. Like you have everything that checks off the list, guy and girl. But you both know who you are as people. Sure. Why wouldn't that bring you no, guys? I'll be honest. 
Go ahead. I went on a million dates with successful women. You want to know what they all tell me? That's mm-hmm. what they lead with. Mm-hmm. I went to school here. I do this, mm-hmm. etc. Their career defines it, which is great. Mm-hmm. Like that, that's good for you. But men don't care. Women that are successful tend to want to tell the world that they're successful mm-hmm. because it's such an anomaly. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and here's the thing. Like I, I've said it on this podcast a million times. As much as people want to call me a misogynist, asshole, whatever. I feel sorry for successful women because the thing that sucks is that a successful woman is never going to get her flowers like a successful man Mm -hmm. because Mm -hmm. men don't care about a woman's success. However, Mm -hmm. women do care about a man's success. Mm -hmm. So a woman that, you know, is successful, hyper, you know, competitive, etc. She's never going to get the same accolades and respect from society that a man does. But then another question. Oh, shit. Can I, can I answer, <laughs> what if it's like last question before you well, ask before, it real quick? Uh, well, did, did you, does it have to do with this? Yeah. What it does. All right. Let her ask her thing okay. and then go ahead. And then first, did you have some you want to add in? Uh, I think you pretty much nailed it on the head. Oh, okay. All right. What's your belief on like a female wants to build with the guy, right? And then the guy also wants to build with the female. Like they want to build together to have this great life. Why would they not do that? Why would they let just the man do that? So, okay. So. So, so are you asking me from the male perspective mm-hmm. like because okay yeah, so yeah. why would the man not want to build with a woman mm-hmm. no like if a female has means. her own thing going on yeah. the man also does yeah why would they not see that as a a benefit like oh, she's, she's doing saying, her thing oh, okay mm-hmm. he's Here's doing his thing, thing together we can build so uh mm-hmm. the problem is, is that like okay let's say you got your business right i got mine mm-hmm. which one takes priority yours exactly mm-hmm. here's the problem right Let's say we build your business, right? And it becomes successful. Mine mm-hmm. suffers. No, you're the leadership. You're you're the head, head of the household. That by itself doesn't really work out well because if you're the leader, you're making all the rules and you're the one in charge. What am I doing as a man? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. So as a result, if you want to build together with your man, the best way to help him with his business, because by default, he's going to take care of you. Mm-hmm. Vice versa, if it was a woman's business, are you going to take care of him? Probably not. Mm-hmm. And, and there's stats to show that if a woman out earns her man, the, it significantly increases the chances She's of divorce. divorce. Yeah. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I always say when a man leads, it's good. You know, mm-hmm. a woman, a woman's gonna be in her natural state and follow and be feminine and submissive. Mm-hmm. When a woman leads, she gonna lead you all right to the end of that <laughs> fucking relationship. <laughs> so, that's why, so that's why I always say like, and this is why like hyper successful women are. I hate to say it like this, they're fairly useless to successful men. Uh, you know, mm-hmm. fuck. I'm just gonna say. Successful women so are useless to successful men a lot of the times because your money doesn't benefit me. Your success mm-hmm, doesn't yeah. benefit me. Unless you're going to come in and be an asset, maybe you were you were an accountant or maybe you were uh, a lawyer, etc. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you come in and now you accentuate what I have and you make our business grow. Mm-hmm. That's great. That's why relationships where the woman works for the man, whether it's like as a secretary mm-hmm. or as an advisor, whatever it is, or that works assistant. out. Right. But if it goes the other way, nine mm-hmm. out of ten times, that woman's going to be like, this nigga's a bitch. I'm, yeah. I'm up now. Wow. I'm going to find somebody yes. else. So I hear you. That's yeah. why successful women lose a lot of times because if I'm a successful man, right, and I'm making quite a bit of money, who am I going to want? Am I going to want a competitive woman that's a little bit older that has her degree? Or am I going to want a young, more attractive girl that's going to get on my program? I'm going to want the more young, attractive girl. Right. And you what I've seen work is the guy will have money set up already or he's already established and she wants like a side business. He'll support her in that aspect, mm-hmm. but it's never going to be the main priority of the actual uh, couple. Yeah. So and, basically, men and women are not symmetrical. Not at all. No, no thank you. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. a- a- not no, at all. And, men and, is <laughs> supposed to be a provider. Woman is supposed to be. Yeah. Like and and again, like this is, and I, I, I just want to make this very clear to all the successful women out there that make money because you're a master, master's degree holder and you're probably a higher earner. I'm not saying that you can't get a man when you're yeah. a higher earner no, I at, at all. You know, and I don't want women out there to be discouraged. But what I will say is I'm not going to lie to you. Mm-hmm. The more money you make and the more successful you become the more you put yourself in a little box. Right. Mm-hmm. Because you only that. find a certain demographic of man attractive. And mm-hmm. this very man that you find attractive can date millions of other girls. Right. Mm-hmm. So what are you going to do? Are you going to accept the fact that he's going to date these other women and not be monogamous to you and stay, stay by his side? Or are you going to get mad and say, fuck it, I'm going to find another guy? It's going to be tough because right. he can date a million girls and you can only date that small box. Right. So... No, I agree. Yeah. Can I come in with what I was going to say? Yeah, yeah, please. Go ahead. Okay. So, responding to the other question that you said, I know it was for them too, but you know, <laughs> I kind of want to put my two cents yeah, in there. Take it. your time. Go ahead. Um, I feel like it merch, could be merch. two things. Mm-hmm. One, mm-hmm. either he's not really interested, okay. or two, there's no genuine connection. 
Mm. And that's a big mistake that we make a lot of the times that mm -hmm. we confuse lust for a real connection. Right. Right. When you have a real connection, everything just goes so smooth. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I was having a conversation with a guy the other day and he was like, oh, vibe is da da da. And I was like, vibe is like a real connection. Like, there's mm -hmm. no needing to talk and address certain mm -hmm. things mm -hmm. like, oh, what do you like? Mm -hmm. You should automatically be right. just yeah. going with the flow. Right. Mm -hmm. If we're not going with the flow, I'm not wasting my time with mm -hmm. you. We're not doing that. I'm not even going to tell you what my interests are because right. we're not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. You should automatically feel that. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. I don't know. Merch. Okay. No, I agree. I okay. But yeah, so that's that. that's what I, does that answer the question? It though? does. Kind Thank of like you. About yeah. No. So the successful women can still get a guy. It's just that it's a little bit harder for y'all, yeah. man. That really is is because your your standards are so high, and it's like so few men rise up to it. And then the men that you're competing for literally have all the girls. I always say, um, the more the more money and success a man make has, the more doors open. The more money mm -hmm. a successful woman has, the more it's doors true. close. But it's don't true. worry, we're still going out. <laughs> <laughs> Hey. Right. Uh, anybody else got anything uh comment i just uh, have a question ahead. yeah do you think men are love under the condition that they can only provide 100 percent. yes men, wow. men, I, I i've said it before uh, shout out to our boy roland tomasi who was on the show before yep i agree with him 100 percent. he says all the time uh women love opportunistically and men tend to love idealistically and that's not to say that women are evil but it's it's kind of like a protection because like women take way more risk when they have sex so they need to make sure whoever they have sex with is able to provide for not just her but her for for her child. Right. This is why a man's height, his strength, income, etc., his mm -hmm. confidence, so leadership, right. all these traits are so important to women because women know by default I have to submit to a man to some degree. Right. So I need to make sure I submit to a actual leader and not a loser. So to to say to go back to that, that is why women love opportunistically because you cannot fuck with a man unless he brings value. On the other side though, a man will gladly fuck with a girl that brings zero value. Yeah. And also as well Think about this there's no unconditional love because let's say for example you're looking for him mm -hmm. but he keeps messing over and over again cheating on you hating you are you gonna stay forever probably no. not no That's okay you but you had, you had something yeah. right please uh, uh but that hasn't changed like men providing hasn't changed but like the qualities of like like how you said like back then men yeah. were the providers women mm -hmm. were yeah. home breastfeeding like that's changed completely it has, yeah, it has. like i feel like with women Merch. though not the men yeah the men still do you it you could you like, could think you could thank feminism for that. Like, it's a lot of women <laughs> that don't know how to cook, that don't know how Big to please you. They don't support you emotionally. Hello. You can come in, you can <laughs> have a bad day of work, and the first thing they want to offer is pussy. Like, yeah. they, they like, not, it's like, it's no, it's, you're it's just different. You're preaching to the choir, man. I mean, we, we talked about know. it. Yeah, I mean, I think, it's, uh, I, I think, um, you know, because you were mentioning earlier about uh, men don't, uh, you know, is 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 uh our gentleman's gone right like is chivalry dead and i've always said chivalry's dead and women killed it mm -hmm. that's feminism mm -hmm. because you cannot uh, and i and i laughed about this because we brought some like college woman on that i'm educated i'm progressive <clears throat> blah 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 but she wants you know the equality from from feminism oh. but she wants to be treated like a lady yeah. and my thing is that feminism and chivalry cannot coexist yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. because equality inherently puts women Right, but makes them equal, so therefore you no longer get treated like a lady. Right, you get treated mm -hmm. like a human being now, which Spinning you fought for. Facts. So, so would you <laughs> say like women are more lazy now than men? No. no. Lazy in what degree? No, no, no. Lazy no, in what, no, what no, way? No. I'm school. just saying, not That's like. Not saying. I'm just saying, not not like lazy. I just feel like lady, men like, put virtue. more of an effort like towards it. Oh, I, I don't know what really you're see females like. Even She's though saying we when it comes to relationships and dating, do men have to put more effort in now, and are women lazy? Like when it comes to like entertaining men, uh, I would or say for most men they are lazy, man. but when they find the right guy, yeah, they finally put in the work, yeah. Because most, I mean, hell, we asked you guys earlier, you guys flake on dates, all of you guys have done it before, etc. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like yes, most women a lot of the times are very lazy when it comes to dating and dealing with most men. Right. But when you meet the right guy, you're gonna go, you know, all in. love and beyond. Like for example, mm -hmm. you guys, you guys have a lot, of, uh, a lot of options, right? However, if the connection is there. You're gonna put in effort because the connection is there. Right. Right. If it's not there, you don't give a shit. Right. Right. Absolutely. I, Naturally. I, don't know, yeah. I feel like it's true though. Like Our I change. have, like sometimes I be on Instagram and I like show that I'm cooking and shit, and guys be like, "Oh my god, you can cook!" <laughs> right. And I'm just like, "Yeah, nigga, yes. like what kind of bitches y'all fucking with?" Right. What's going on? That's funny. Like we talk about all the time on Instagram, there's thirst traps for men and for women, and that's one of them for men. Mm -hmm. What you can cook, mm -hmm. bitch, yeah. get over here. I do it. You know what's crazy? I do it on purpose too. The I other day, the other day I, w I made some crazy ass breakfast. I made sausage pancakes from scratch eggs all that and i was like you hungry get me wow. bitch <laughs> it was hilarious like a bunch of guys were just like yo what the fuck and but i'm using it kind of like a but marketing should, thing but that should tell you kind of yeah. like the the, the the state that we're in the problem yeah, where it's fucked up. a woman a woman simply cooking on the internet 
is considered very rare. attractive because it's yeah it's rare and a lot, a lot of it's guys true. find it you know what i'm saying so you know like i said it's um it's it's a degradation on both sides you know what i'm saying like feminism has made men lazy it's made women kind of masculine mm -hmm. and everyone loses because here's what's hap what's really happened y'all want to hear something crazy mm -hmm. that's my speculation <laughs> what feminism has actually done is it's put the highest status men in a position of opportunity but i don't want to compete with a man but 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 mm -hmm. that but here's the thing that's <laughs> like, what you don't get that's what you've inadvertently done right. because feminism mm -hmm. was about equality but mm -hmm. now what feminism has done is it's given the top one percent of men all the leverage right. because since women are earning more more than men i predict in the next 20 years women are going to out earn men mm -hmm. we yeah. got almost three quarters of college students right now are women a lot of guys are dropping out of college like you know like crazy they don't want to go to school so i foresee in the next 20 years women are going to out earn men as women make more money it's going to be much diff much more difficult for them to find a man because women want a guy typically that's on their level socioeconomically so i foresee because we already know <laughs> we told guys invest in chewy right and dog and cat food and it's been going up. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I, I put a thousand dollars in Chewy just for the fuck of it, and it's been going up. Mm -hmm. So my thing is, I predict in the next ten to twenty years, uh, women are going to be more single. Marriage rates are going to yeah. continue to drop. The birth rate's going to continue to drop. Mm -hmm. And you know, the guys at the top are going to continue to play the field and fuck as many girls they can because they don't they don't have to settle down anymore. So how do we change that? So it's like there's an empire that's being now. built. Yeah. I don't think now. we could change it. Is there yeah. a machine yeah. that's yeah. running no. itself? Yeah. I think, no. it's damn going it. Downhill from there. Bitches because... want to run the shit. <laughs> yeah, they, because... we wanna, they, bitches want to run the show now. Yeah. We tired of the niggas yeah. running the show. So. Yeah, but you no. can't, though. Women, yeah. women fought for equality, and it's mm -hmm. finally here, and, and there's no going back because I doubt that women are going to like, oh, you know what, man? Maybe we're not in a position. Maybe we can't leave. <laughs> they're going to be like, nah, they're going to continue to fight because one thing I've learned also from talking with thousands of women at this point, well over well over a thousand, is that women don't like to be wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We, Very I, I competitive. Throw back, I I throw them back, and the they stats, don't settle. They don't settle. Yeah. So no, I, I can't tell you how many times we brought a woman on this pod. We pull up the calculator, right? Which, by the right. way, if you guys want to get your dreams crushed, let me know. We have a calculator that literally calculates. <laughs> don't the tell dream me that. Man. <laughs> the dream man. It tells you <laughs> how mm -hmm. common he's going to be. And we've had b a bunch of girls damn near break the calculator. Says this man is point oh oh one percent of the population. We right. ask him height, income, mm -hmm. etc. This guy basically doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And we tell him, "Yo, you're gonna either have to lower your standards mm -hmm. or be single for life. Because this man, if you do find him, is he gonna commit to you? Yeah. Is he gonna marry you? Is he gonna take you right. serious? You know what they say? Fuck it, I'll die alone. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> but I appreciate dogs. you yeah. saying that because it just kind of opens up the perspective of like the world mm -hmm. that we live in today, which is completely different from how it was back then. So I mean, I don't know. I guess I gotta stop going to school. I feel like I'm going, just fucking with you guys. Like, yeah, I, it was more like easier back then. Black people dated black people, Spanish dated Spanish, mm -hmm. white dated white. Like it was more like <laughs> it was more, it was kind of like, like a, a it was traditional. <laughs> it was traditional. It was kind of it was like an easy guide. Now it's like a whole different generation. It's a lot of opportunity. Tunity, it's a lot right. of uh, options. I, I will say this: mm -hmm. um, like eighty eight percent of black men actually get with black women. It's just that there, there tends to be this that. crazy ideology mm -hmm. out there that black men mm -hmm. don't date it's black like, women. No. They actually do. Right. It's just that the very small percentage of men that date outside their race, they tend to be celebrities and athletes. So right. that's what you see. Mm -hmm. That's okay. so true. Right. But yeah. the reality is most black men actually black marry women. and date black women. So, yeah. gotcha, bitch. And I love y'all. Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? It, it's just that they get mad. They're like, Kanye with Kim, uh, with Kim Kardashian, and then they think that's all successful black men. That's not necessarily no. true. Mm -hmm. All right, let's so. do the chats real quick. All right, yeah. up here. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to do that. Uh, did anyone else have some? If you have some out, don't worry. We got, we got you when mm -hmm. we uh, do this. Uh, JBX, to the women on the panel that don't have children, do you want marriage and children, and would you be okay with being a stay-at-home mom slash wife? Basically, have a more conservative lifestyle outside of entertainment business. You know what? That's a quick yes or no. Yes or no. Children. I have a kid. But would you be a stay at home mom? Because yeah, I know you were. Sure. Okay, I you did. Okay. I was. I am. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, I would be a stay at home mom. Okay, so and you give up your career you and everything. When you come home, your home go be look. Your home go be right. All right. What about you? No. Okay. That's gonna be. That's gonna be tough for Wait, you too. Do it. Hold on. Like part time though. Like, what if I want to do my little side hustle, but then still be you like have a child? That is not possible. Yeah. <laughs> hold on. No, but it's like you what if kids? you have? I do. How many you want? Five. Five. You definitely not gonna have no career. You tripping? No, no, I, I do whatever. Yeah, no. I don't know. I'm breaking stuff over here. But um, whatever God gives me, I mean, I don't. <laughs> whatever is 
mm-hmm. an option for me. I think it's just I want to be able to still do the things that I enjoy doing. So like if I like doing therapy, I want to do that not full time because I have to be a mom and I have to be a wife to my husband. Mm-hmm. But I want to be able to do it on the side when I feel like doing it. Because, not losing yourself. You know, I don't want to be exactly. I don't want to lose myself and I don't want to be constrained to being just a house. Wife. Question. Just out of curiosity. What what how much do you want your potential future husband to make per year? Um, give us a, like what you honestly I'll, want. I'll be honest. Yeah. Money doesn't mean anything. And I say that in the most <laughs> humblest bad. way because <laughs> okay. I've been with like guys who have been very successful, but then they literally lack the emotional component. They mm-hmm. like, they're great. They're successful, but you can't but buy your dream me. Man, what's, what's your bare minimum? Come on, let's keep it a thousand. If you're going to have a family with this man, money does matter. Stop the mm-hmm. yeah. Especially. Stop the the Stop the I mean, it has to appreciate. be definitely over 70,000 because we, okay. life is expensive. Miami no, 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 is expensive. Fair, fair, fair. So, so over, over 70 K. Yeah. You need money to live. Yeah. I mean, Miami alone is just mm-hmm. crazy. All right. So. And that's fairly reasonable. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. But I would say, if you meet this man and he says, I need you to like quit your job, I'm going to take care of us, Like, would you would you, acqu- would you acquiesce to that I or would, would you say no? Nah? I would compromise. All I right. would say yes, but then there's like boundaries. Like, okay. can I do this in All a right. couple of months? or 70K a year, he might he might be okay with that, but I'll tell you this. A higher earner man, he's going to tell you, no, you stay your ass at home. Fuck your career. And you, True. N- you can't necessarily <laughs> come. He say it he's like not going to yeah, no. yeah, He's not going to say it like that, but he's but not he won't compromise. want me to go through the struggle of like yeah. having another job and, when I can just and be And most home. importantly, he's not going to sit there and compromise, which is like, right. okay. Okay, I'm just I don't know. Go on. She don't want to. Gotta... She wanted to be a stay at home. <laughs> what about you, I see. Would you be a stay at home mom? I she, mean, she's right now. I I'm already am okay. to my son, so you All know, right. it's just no nigga. Fair <laughs> enough. Yeah. Um, I have a son, but you I don't. A son? Yes, I don't feel like I Orange. would be a. I I like to work. I like okay. to work. Mm-hmm. I like to travel. I like to make my own money and stuff. So maybe when I'm like in my thirties, yeah. But right now, no. Okay. How about you? Um, hey. No long oh, chat. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Who's watching your son right now? My son's family. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. Like, you know, is, my is your family, dad, family in Atlanta? N- uh, I have some family in Atlanta. You have some Atlanta. family in Atlanta? Yeah. Okay. I have All family right. in Atlanta and Illinois and stuff like that. Okay. All right. That makes sense. So you have a family system out there in Atlanta? Yeah. Like versus That's why having one in Miami? I have no family yeah. system in Miami. I f- okay. Yeah. All right. So no long chat, no long talking. If man wanted, I have a kid already, so I want to put that out there. Yeah, we got a bunch of moms on the panel. (laughs) Yeah, we're moms. Mm. Um, If a man want me to be a stay at home mom, yes. Nigga, we already doing that. (laughs) (laughs) Come to the (laughs) crib. What about you? Would you be a single mom? Would you stay be a stay at home mom? I don't have kids, and I mean in the future. I don't know. No. All right, I sure. like my I like my independence. I like mm-hmm. my get up and go and do what I want. I don't know if I want to sacrifice that part of my. She life. belongs to the street. <laughs> oh my God! Why? But there's yeah. nothing wrong with your 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 I, your twenty years. Like I, I like the first twenty years of your life. There's nothing wrong with going out and go do whatever the fuck oh, you want to do. I'm not and in my twenties and in my. No, more. I'm just I, I, I know. I'm just door. saying. Yeah. Like you know, there's gonna be a point in time you're gonna be forty five and it's like, damn, all right, I did my thing. Like exactly. You know, like, wait, wait. Damn, I see forty five really. <laughs> like 45 45 is that's that's, that's old, old that's, for that's your female. pussy don't even get wet no more that's a lie I mean Rihanna just had a baby and it's 30 45 no Naomi Campbell just had a baby and she's like 50 something there is no time limit but that's not saying there's no time limit one mic at a time one mic at a time scientifically no it's not supposedly it's like after 35 yeah I'm just saying like but Some still. bitches wanna don't want to be at the crib, bro. Everybody want to live their life. Like, don't nobody want to just be at the crib, looking at the four walls all day, <laughs> cleaning, cooking. Like, no, come on, bro. It's something if you want to do it, and it's like, okay, I want to make my little family. I'm going to, you know, that's yeah, different. Yeah, but that's bad advice. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. it's not bad Here, advice. Niggas want to do what they want to do. They're going to do it regardless. So, so I see, I'll say this, right? So if I want to compete for the Olympics, right, <laughs> I have to train for four years. Mm-hmm. You know, stare at the four walls in the training room, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to have to abstain from drinking alcohol, doing drugs, recreationally partying, doing a bunch of stupid shit. Your for, choice. You know, long term. Exactly. Yep. Um, because I want a certain outcome. And that mm-hmm. outcome is I want to be an Olympic gold medalist. Okay. So I must sacrifice to win, correct? Mm-hmm. Unfortunately for women, you must train. <laughs> I hate to say it like this, mm-hmm. but you must train to become a wife. And a big part of being a wife for a good future is not having a past. And... Mm-hmm. 
That's a lot of guys. My nigga. I know it's not impossible. It can be done. It's just that most women are not willing to sacrifice. That's mm. that's you just getting a young bitch with no past. If you want me to be honest, bro, that's 18, 19, 20 year olds. Like really? And that's that makes no choosing. fucking sense. The ones that can't. Cook. It makes it makes perfect sense because <laughs> I'm sorry. It doesn't because a nineteen, a, a eighteen, nineteen, twenty year old, them bitches don't even know how to cook and clean their ass. Like come on. Yeah, but 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 still, again, I'm telling you what men want. They want younger women that are going to be more impressionable and follow their rules. Right. Well, so, they're gonna have so and 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 uh, and the thing is, is that you know, if a girl wants to be a, a wife of a certain kind of guy, men look at these types of things, and just like I said, you got to sacrifice. If I want a gold medal, right, and go to the Olympics, I got to sacrifice for four years. Same thing with girls. Like, yo, you want a certain type of man to take you seriously and marry you, you have to preserve yourself to a certain way and train to be a good wife. Mm -hmm. So having a kid is automatically disqualified. Yeah, because you, you had, had it out of wedlock. Wife? Well, here's the thing. So. <laughs> Some guys might come in and marry a mom that is uh, marry a woman that's a single mother, but a lot of guys won't. Because mm -hmm. here's the thing, from a liability standpoint, men are very logical, correct? Mm -hmm. So if I'm going in and dealing with this woman, I know that not only am I responsible for her, but I'm also going to be responsible for a child that isn't necessarily my own. And then on top of that, let's say I get into a relationship with you, right? Hypothetically. Uh -huh. And uh, I move you and everything else like that, right? Mm -hmm. and, and we're together. Well, and I'm taking care of your child. At any point, you could be like, uh, you know what, man? This shit ain't really working out. Fuck you. I don't really like you that much and leave, which is fine. I'm, we might be on our outs anyway, but now I lose access to the child that I put time and, and uh, resources mm -hmm. into. And on top of that, I have no legal right to that child. Right. So not only do I lose the girl, but I also lose the, the kid as well, which is a double whammy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's not in a man's best. And we tell guys all the time, it's not in a man's best interest to, to marry a woman that has a child from another man because... You're going to grow an attachment to that kid to mm -hmm. some degree. It's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And you don't necessarily have any recourse if she decides to pull that child from you. Mm -hmm. And some women will be okay with it. They'll be like, you know what? No, you, you were in this child's life. You're the father. But some women will use a child as mm -hmm. kind of a... Uh, as a, a how do pawn, I say? See, a pawn I, to fuck you up. I was raised by my stepfather. And even after him and my mom separated, he still took care of me. She's a good woman. You know? He, no, and, he's a good man. Yeah. That's what that's, it is. I mean, he, woman. I, I ended up cutting him off myself because he got a little crazy bit. You know, I was like, whatever. Yeah. But still, like, he was still a part of my life as yeah. my dad, you know, my father figure. So I don't know. But here's the thing. Remember, you got to look at it not just through your lens because you might allow a stepfather to continue seeing the child. You might do that, but a lot of women won't. Right. They'll be, they'll be, like, they'll use lot, that I, in spite. I feel like there's a lot of, I, I feel like there's a lot Torch. of weird because a lot of the time, I don't know. I just, People just be immature. No, some men don't do that though. Like I will say, like this is actually like a touchy subject. Like my, like the person who raised me when my mom and him divorced, he literally washed his hands of me, and I found out at that time that he wasn't my biological father. So my whole life, I was kind of lied to about who my dad was. Mm -hmm. And when I found out, and he was not with my mom, he didn't give a fuck. He didn't care. So some men don't continue that shit. So I feel like with, but I do agree when you get married and you have another kid, you need to be careful because of the simple fact that not only are you hurting yourself, you can hurt that kid. Cause you don't think mm -hmm. that hurt me? I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, under, I understand that point. I look at men differently. I, just, I would never. At the same time, like, I'm not going to bring anybody around my son that I'm not seriously dating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. the, we, there has to be certain boundaries already in place. And, like, we got to agree on at least some kind of of, of, of actual solid future before mm -hmm. we break honestly, up. Like, just when y'all break so up, all that shit goes out the window, though. Yeah, it does. And, 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 so when when you guys break up or if something happens, all that shit goes out the window. I mean, I understand My that. mom and some that guy was married for, like, Eight years, and I did. I did. Do you think I expected him to just? But, but the ladies, main thing here <laughs> is that like there's a lot of problems that arise, and as a guy looking into it from a logical lens, if I see you got a kid, automatically I'm saying to myself, you know what? Yes, I could do this. However, do I really want to? And mm -hmm. shit, I did it and learn from example. I ain't never want to do that shit again. <laughs> mm -hmm. However, right. however, I'll say this: if you're a woman and you want to find a guy. Some guys are not going to have that. However, you may have to settle for a guy that you don't actually want because he's willing to take out that burden, mm -hmm. which and, most guys won't. And, and also, ladies, I, I've noticed that when you guys talk about this, you're talking about it from the female perspective and mm -hmm. your own shoes. Right. I need you guys to go into the male's perspective. Mm -hmm. yeah. Here's the numbers. 80% of divorces are initiated by women. 90% mm -hmm. of alimony is paid from men to women. Mm -hmm. Women overwhelmingly initiate breakups and divorce in general. Mm -hmm. Okay, And then on top of that, not, over 90% of the time, Men lose access to their children that are their, their own biological children. Right. That's true. Okay, I think that's so. So, too. so, I so and this that. is all. This is all fact. So, knowing these numbers, is it in your best interest as a man to get into a relationship with a woman, let alone a woman that has a child from another relationship? Mm. Right. 
it's 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 a very high risk to sm- to you know slim reward ratio. So from a logical perspective, it's not a good move. If I told you jump out of a plane and the parachute has a ninety percent chance of not working, mm-hmm. would you jump out the plane? No. 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 So and and marriage is essentially for men jumping out the plane because I'm putting everything on the lines financially. Right. And on top of that, I have a kid that I'm investing time and resources into that I'm going to grow to love that could be taken from me at any time. Right. So that makes sense. we tell guys from a logical perspective, don't don't do it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because that that kid isn't yours, and she could take it from you at any time. Let me ask you a question. Yeah. What if we both have children? That's different. That's a little bit different. Yeah. That's different. Because because now you're investing in my kid, I'm investing in yours. There's mm-hmm. a little bit more of a, you know, balance, what I'm even there's, playing there's a little field. bit more balance. There's more skin on the game on your mm-hmm. end. And let's be honest, you know, a lot of the reason why women initiate divorce so much is because there's no fault divorce. Women are able to initiate divorce a lot of the times while getting rewarded to do so. Mm-hmm. Alimony, child support, etc. I don't bullshit. like this thing no more. I could take half his money and leave. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. This is a W. Mm-hmm. Because the laws have not caught up with the fact that women are empowered now and, you know, chivalry is dead. Mm-hmm. So that's why we tell guys in this climate is not in your best interest to marry a single mother. And that's not to like shit on y'all. Mm-hmm. I'm sure right. you guys are fantastic moms. But, mm-hmm. you know, it's just not from the male's perspective. It's an L. Right. But I'll say this, though. A nigga some still go get married. That probably will take you 100%. So mm-hmm. we're not saying every guy won't. We're just right. saying like, maybe the guy that you actually want might not want to be in that position. Right. I'm not going to lie for me. I would rather date a guy with a kid already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Probably uh, good like move. yeah, I, I, because I, you I, have kids, right? Mm-hmm. N- not only because I have a kid, but just because I know I want to know that you're a good dad. Yeah, like I, I don't want to just date some young guy that he don't know what the fuck he's doing. You know, like I want to, I want to have something in common. Yeah. So you, you know didn't have kids? Would you still be okay with being with a man that has kids? Yes. Most of the guys I dated had kids already. <sighs> okay. Oh. Cool. Well, I think the other thing too is that a man that's a single father is not the same as a single mother. Because yeah, like let's, let's is be honest, the, I ain't gonna lie, that is a little yeah, bit different. It's actually kind father. of a turn on when a man's taking care of his kids. It just doesn't yeah, get as got much kids, light. They ain't no baby mama. I'm like, mm-hmm. okay, daddy, I could be stepmama. Yeah, <laughs> you feel but me? I'm, I'm glad. I'm thank you for being honest about that. Yeah, that is actually it. single fathers are far more attractive than single mothers. Right, yeah. Because Definitely. a single father, you've been able to display it's not rare. only that another woman likes you. You have a kid, which means you're responsible to some degree because you have possession of the child. Not possession, but you have custody of the child. So it's like, as a man that's a single father, so it's no, not the same. Different, and, right? and, yeah, and let's be honest, too. As a single dad, right? If a woman comes into your life, you're not going to expect her to bear financial burden. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're just not. But on the other end, as a man, you are expected, whether it's spoken or not, you are expected at some point to have a financial burden on that child right. and on her as a man. Right. So that's why for a guy, it's much riskier than for you know a woman getting in with a single dad. Mm-hmm. I, don't right. know. I don't think I would expect... For somebody I'm dating to take my son on, you're clearly an exception begin- to the rule. At the, be- <laughs> at the beginning, you may not, but later on, hey, not even. I would feel like my Never? child is my no. child, and his father needs to be responsible, and so do I. I, I agree. Mean, we so, are his parents, so, not my per- so let's say not the we're person. Not the person I'm dating. Right? That's true. Who's paying? Either if I don't have the money, his father need to come up with mm. that money. No, 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 that's not my dude's responsibility. Father is not responsible. You're going with you and your kid and the man. I will pay for my child. The guy will probably okay. pay, though. Honestly, okay. if you think but about I, it. I'll say this. But, if we're, but, okay, but, see, but, but see. if we're already in like bro, a five-year been, relationship. See, the entire show, she's been not, an exception to the rule. Like, she <laughs> asks guys on dates, etc. No, she's clearly I'm more, different I'm here. I'm more mm-hmm. to the fire. Because oh, at the shit. beginning, you might say, for example, don't pay anything. I got it. Mm-hmm. But let's say it's him taking you out. He's still paying for you, though. And he's bringing the kid. Okay. So I'm just saying, at some point, I'll be okay with it if it's like pay. a gesture, but if it's something like you know, I'm gonna you know, do this for you. I'm gonna do this, like yeah, let me do it, like you know, mm-hmm. I, if it's a gesture, like come on, let me take you guys on a trip. But I'm saying, it'll be cool, and man, we've been together for a while. You're like, gonna want to do that because that's a part of your family. <laughs> so I'm just saying, you may not say it verbally, but he's gonna do it for you automatically, right? And you're gonna take it. Yeah. That's so okay. You, so, you, so you would take conversation. But I wouldn't put that burden on him like you have to do it. But he's mm. going to do it though. Speaking of burden. That's fine. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Myron, Myron Jr. Jr. Uh, I guess I'm just bell, a financial, financial burden unplugged jit. Oh, Fuck God. you, bro. Your <laughs> son, boy. <laughs> uh, Chris, uh, God damn it. I'm yeah. not the pappy, bro. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, any, <laughs> anything else that you guys want to talk about with single? No. Question. Did she get to ask? Did Was she asked if she would rather be a sing- at no, home? No, you didn't. Oh, yeah, yeah. you? Yeah. Would you prefer to be... A stay-at-home mom. If a guy, if a guy told you I need mm-hmm. you to be a single stay-at-home mom, would you do it? Yes, would you no? give up your juice business um, for the juice? No, okay. <laughs> I would definitely do my juice business. I'll be a stay-at-home mom, but part time, I'm definitely gonna always have my own thing because mm-hmm. if that nigga decides to up and exactly. leave me, I need to make sure me and my child are straight. Yeah, right. yeah. 
I will say, statistically speaking, men rarely leave women, but mm-hmm. <laughs> anything can happen if they like get in car accidents. Mm-hmm. No, okay. Yeah, that's JBX. true. Uh, JBX, the women <laughs> on the panel. Die. Hold on, right. That one. Oh, read that one? Okay. Uh, just wanted to show some love to you guys. Love the content. Listen to the show 5 a.m. every morning when I'm lifting weights. Hope you guys bring Mr. Organic or Tommy back on. And that's Naruto Explained. Thank you so much. And uh, Actually, shout out to him, by the way. He's a YouTuber here on the platform as well. Oh, yes? Okay. He uh, breaks down uh, Naruto. Shout um, out to Fresh. Manga mm-hmm. and videos. Hey. Oh, shout out to him. Shout out to him. There you go. I'm going to him, follow man. you. And he's been very active in the chat, by the way. My so. ninja way. Hey, man. Mod him up then. Mod him up. Shout out to you. Even though I hate Naruto, mod him up. Right, uh, cool. Miranda was amazing. She did everything for me, and that's from J- Ray J. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking dead. <laughs> oh, fresh. <laughs> hey, man. I don't know what happened there, but I was allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Listen, man. I wish everybody the best. You know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> allegedly. The chat is fucking awesome, man. <laughs> you guys don't understand how great this is for me. <laughs> All right. Um. Um, we the chat delegation voted. Can Christina shout out her IG? God damn, she fine. No. Chris- Christina. No. Go ahead. She is hidden. <laughs> go ahead, Christina, go ahead. Uh, drop it on, uh, on, uh, on, I, I know. She, guys, she's really shy. Mm-hmm. She's really shy. She's going she to drop <laughs> it for y'all. Look at her in the chair. She's in the back. She's like, like, she's like, no. Don't even put me on the Go camera. ahead. Uh, yeah, go, go to Chris's mic and tell the people because I already know. I don't think she wants to. She don't want to? Nope. She don't want to? Tell me anyway. Yeah, they'll find her anyway, so. All right, yeah, they're gonna find her anyway. It's it's damn, I don't even remember it. It's some Chrissy Rojas. Yeah. Something like Nigga, that. you should know. Hey, ah, ah. yo, I, hey man, I I got her on IG. You know when you have it there, you don't know the actual username. Yeah, no. yes. if I care, I'm gonna know the name. <laughs> Nigga, <laughs> I know you ain't talking, bro. Miranda in the chat right now. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's, that's, probably, that's probably fake. It's probably fake. Oh yeah, okay. probably fake. Probably. No, Y'all uh, skip uh, one. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. <laughs> I see he's learning. I know you were talking. Allegedly. (laughs) (laughs) Let me air you out. All right, group question. Why women after the breakup is over continue to say I love you being real? Love is gone after we've been split for over a month. 20 bucks from Dog Pound Journey. Okay, you seem like you're going through it. (laughs) (laughs) Jay Martin. Jay Martin, 50 bucks. Uh, Women's love is like a huge pond. Four deep. Mm -hmm. Uh, Men's love is like a well. You could reach across, but you can't see the bottom. Women mm. love their SOs, family, friends, strangers. Men don't love many, but much deeper. Women get over relationships much faster. Do you guys agree with that? I love yes that no? poem. That's a good little <laughs> Women do comment. get over relationships faster. Honestly. Nowadays, especially. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like we mentally leave before we physically leave. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. Yes That's that. 1,000% that. true. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Which is why I always say if a woman cheats on you, it's a fucking rap, bro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she had to get to a certain point to do it. Facts. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Ray Monk. Uh, and ladies, thank you for go- being good sports on the panel. I, I got to give y'all a yeah. fucking uh, Don DeMarco because when I when I had these discussions before, <laughs> yo, Monk, goes trouble, trouble, get girls mad. get mad. They keep cutting me off. I can't finish my points. And you know we want to make sure that the ladies always have a platform to speak as well. I'm if mad. You disagree with me? It's fine. You're mad. mad. Who's mad? Me. Okay. Why are you mad? Because the, gr- the chats and then you skip one and then the chat's been on my ass all night and I really want to say something <laughs> to them. Yeah. Go ahead. What do you want to say? First of all, because the motherfucker Chris kept fucking saying shit in the fucking chat talk about I'm a cop and stuff like that I just want to say I hope you don't have <laughs> listen no for real not me not I, me just I, hope, I hope that you don't have no daughters or a mother because like the simple fact of a man putting their hands on a female I don't give a fuck what nobody says you feel me like that shit is just unacceptable it's unacceptable and what, what was I supposed to do like please let me know what was I supposed to do if a man bites your face and beats your ass nah, and puts a gun sorry. to your face. What do you do? Oh, I was a former Fed. You got to call the cops. Mm-hmm. That, that's what I did. That's what I did. Right? That's what everybody I did. And everybody's saying like I'm a cop and stuff like that. And then like one thing, I did see a female comment saying, "Oh, Bunny's putting black men in jail." First of all, I didn't tell y'all fucking race. Mm. So Ooh, don't fucking assume, assume shit. And especially you being a female, you He's comment Chinese guy. Mm. <laughs> no, my man now is Chinese and black. So mm. okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> but that's <laughs> sicky, sicky like now. That exotic. I know. Okay. I love it. I love it. I love it. But <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> For everything. <laughs> but anybody who says I'm a cop, it's fuck you. <laughs> Suck her dick, I, I don't, niggas. I don't think you're a cop, but if you already knew he was like a felon and like this I didn't is gonna know, be I life, didn't know that. And that's this is, the thing. This I is something life threatening. But I didn't know this. I, I didn't know he was like a felon and stuff like that until like maybe like a month into this, like into it. So it was like a month already, after you called the police. No, a month into like when I called the police, he went to jail. I was done with him. But that's what I'm saying. Well, I, I'm before you him. before you called the police, you knew he could go to jail for a long time because he's yes. already convicted. So you kind of put somebody life in jeopardy. Again. He put my life in jeopardy. He put, he put a gun in my face. I get 
He put he a gun in my face. He, he put a gun in my face. He bit and my face and beat my ass. supposed to be around firearms. All right. Um, I get that. I, I have a guy put a gun in my face. So am I supposed I to be like, you know what? Because you're a felon and I know you spent a lot of years behind bars, you know what? Just leave me alone. He's not going to leave me alone. I would. All right. I, that, that's uh, what okay, I well, get your uh, ass beat. And then you're going to say the same I'm shit. I'm going to give you a chance. Like, like, but if you can't get it together, it's easy to say when you're not in it. Yeah, if you're in that scenario. Because I'm pretty sure if it had a gun to your face. I mean, I just said I've been in that same situation. And I'm just like, you know, I'm not going to stick around for it to happen again. But I'm not Same here. That's That's how you would act. But that's how she reacted to it. I this was in a small but town. He knew where I lived. He kept coming to my house. He kept bothering oh, me. Oh, well, yeah, he, kept, he needed to go to jail. Like, that's he was not going to leave me alone. He, he was going to end up killing you me. Gave him Y'all hear all these stories about all these girls that's getting that's getting killed and murdered by all these men. And then when a female that's actually stands up, the then a, and it's really the females that be saying the, sh- the most shit. And I'm like, damn, we're supposed to be sticking together and stuff like that. And if I'm sitting here saying that this like man is going to go to fucking yeah, jail for putting his quick. hands on me, he's going I mean, to fucking jail. I, I'm going to say you did the right thing, mm-hmm. but I see where you're coming from. Like, hey, there's a code. I get it. There's a street code. But I'm not street. Not, exactly. And that's what I was going to say. Not everybody. <laughs> but, everybody but you knew he street. was when you She's started fucking with him. Right. I didn't know he was a felon when I first started messing with him. And that doesn't give you an excuse. A lot of people are felons and good people and change. Am I supposed I to agree. just judge? Oh, you're a felon, so I'm not going to ever fuck with you? Right. That's Girl. not fair. Like I said, remember, I have a criminal don't, record. Don't I'm not a felon, but, but I have a criminal record. Don't, don't I was in the chat against because, them. because they, they call me the, uh, uh, they call me uh, a snitch too, and I'm like, I control the snitches. What are you talking about? Back when I used to work for the government. Like, don't get triggered by the chat. They're going to say that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, all right. Main show idea. <laughs> uh, 20 bucks from Ray Monk. Uh, bring on a fertility expert. Reason, female acquaintance, nearly 40 years old, and her husband just lost their newborn due to severe birth defects. Mm. My mom was a doctor and said many folks don't know about fertility. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's amazing to me. I mean, by the time a woman's 30 years old, I think like 80% of her eggs are gone or mm-hmm. something like that. And then by the time she's 35, it's considered a high-risk pregnancy. So, ladies, if you want to wait to have children, just understand that... Uh, <laughs> It becomes very risky for you and the child. Big male, 20 bucks. I have, uh, to be honest, a woman that don't know how to cook is immediately put in the recreation use only category. Bam, <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. And some guys, won't, some guys will never tell you, oh, you can't cook? Oh, okay. And then in the back mm-hmm. of his mind, he's just yeah. like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, women have children in a healthy relationship, but pointing them off on strangers to have a career as a second household earner, height of narcissism. And that's from Jay Martin. Okay. And then, uh, all right, I think we're caught up. Yep, so uh, last thoughts, I guess? Uh, we already uh, did last thoughts yeah, for most people. Last. Okay. Uh, I think you two are left. About a lot of thoughts on the show. What's the last thought? Like, it's okay. I don't know. Uh, any, anything else from anybody? I just have one more question to ask. I have so to, oh, oh, shit. Okay, so go ahead. After her, go, go so, ahead. So, to the men, um, here, like, you guys don't believe in like a boy try to lock a girl in because she's a good one, then run around, do his thing, then try to come back at the end, like, type stuff. You don't believe in that, or you feel like that's some bullshit that females make up in their mind, like, oh. What's your Let take me make on sure that? I have that? I have that accurate. So you're saying yeah. he messed with you. Right. He met you. You're the perfect woman. You're the one that he wants to be with in the end. Yeah. But he's not ready to like step commit. to that level. Okay. Yeah, commit. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So and he be, goes out and does his thing. Right. So his and, and, then and tell you lies or like pretty much string you along. Yeah. Why he does his thing and then come back and end. You don't believe in that or you feel like that's female hoopla? Uh, I'm just no, asking no, 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 him. No, 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 no. That's not a stupid it's question a good at question. all. It's a good question. It can happen, yeah, for sure. Well, I mean, that's okay. not a dumb question. Fresh. It, it happens. Fresh. No, he laughing because of what I said. He's laughing because okay. of what I said. Okay. He wanted to show his <laughs> royal oath. Fuck it. They're pissing me off, bro. <laughs> yeah. They're pissing the fuck off. They're coming for you. Fuck all y'all. Thank you for answering me, Myron. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it, it, it could definitely happen. You know what I'm saying? It depends on when you meet the guy. Is he ready to get into a, a, a serious relationship? You know what I mean? Right. At that point. And, and sometimes orange. he I know, might not be. This orange right, outfit, right. <laughs> Especially if you meet him at his, at his peak, <laughs> he might not be. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> the niggas put a rat to the job. All right. I didn't get my we're gonna, last. We're going to close out the show. Yeah. Damn, I didn't um, even say what I had to say. We got a show tomorrow talking about the Tinder swindler. Yes. For our breakdown on Wednesday. Yes. And uh, show with girls as well. So, Maren, yeah. that's a uh, gif. Uh, you will tell the chat about the Stone Cold Steve Austin. I'll do it on the next uh, I'll do it. Uh, what? What? The uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. All right, cool. Yeah, because we got the ladies here, so <laughs> that's going to be a whole thing. And there's a lot of sp- there's not enough space here, and I might accidentally kick someone when I try to stun her. Oh, I don't know. All right, so, um, yeah, guys, all the ladies' Instagrams are below. Uh, give them a follow. follow by go support Twitch. them. Check them out. Follow me. Uh, this was a great panel. Follow me even tomorrow. I promise I will panel. post more. I, yeah, this was a great panel. Great discussion. I promise. And, and thank you, ladies, for, for be, being be uh, awesome. For being awesome, not being annoying. Uh, <laughs> We're not fucking friends. And also, because we've had some rough panels. It's been tough. 
But our new show is going to start at 8 p.m. every single day. So that's mm-hmm. when you start time, guys. More or less. Just so you know. Church yes. hours. It's going to be less. early now, ladies. Yeah. So please. They can even go to the club. Even though I was church hours. Yeah, ladies, get uh, all right. Perfect. But yeah, guys, thank you so much, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. Check out the ladies. And like the video, because I didn't stop the video to like to get any likes up. Woo! And we're only at like 4K or something like <laughs> that. Get like us like the seven, fucking guys. video. And uh, with my rat ass. Yeah, send the rat emojis. Peace. All the night.